Hello everybody! Welcome to my daytime Friday stream! I didn't realize how things look today. I need to fix this light. What's going on here? Let's get a little bit more light here. Ah, there we go. Hey everybody! Welcome! You can hear some rockin' tunes and those tunes are the game that we're gonna play. Best Friends Forever, I believe it's, it's called. Let's see this game. Okay, lots of talking. Just calm down. I did some makeup today and I put my hair in a very, you know, very tousled. <laughs> I've never actually worn my hair like this, which is kind of funny. So I was like, hey, you look beautiful as always. Thank you, Brian. Uh, thanks for the, to the mods for being here. Thanks for the Kiwi for trying to give me a key to this, uh, a free code to this game, but I actually had already bought it, so. <laughs> I had already put it on pre-order. Anyway, you look very nice. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, the Mersh, thanks for the sub. So pleased you're doing a daytime stream. Yeah, you guys, I'm going to try this next Friday, actually. I'm going to be doing the Fall Guys uh, talk show with Gary Witta, so I'll be streaming on my, we'll be doing a squad stream. So next Friday will be a nighttime stream, but I'm kind of going off the assumption that unless I had some work, I'll be doing a daytime stream. So it might shift back and forth depending on what I'm doing that week, but my intention is to try, oh, uh, Ripter Blast. Thank you so much for following. Or Rip, Ribzo Flast? I can't read. I should pr probably ch pick another font that I can actually read. Anyway, did you, hi did you hi help write glitch text? Asked Jamie. Jamie, I was a consulting producer on that show. For the first 13 episodes, I did a lot of producerial notes and input on the scripts. I didn't actually get to write a script because I actually had a baby during that. So every time I tried to write a script, things just went wrong. Thank you for following Irish guy. And so I always get your name wrong too. That's fine, big big DH gaming. Ha, I just got it. Fridays are my day off. I love that I can watch a daytime stream. Yeah, it's gonna be weird to have a Friday night tonight. I'll probably work, but because I didn't get any writing done today, but hey, it's fine. Hey, Sonia, Applejack's here. A lot of the Toronto gals here. The fancy new follower thing actually works. Yeah, I don't know about the sub thing. Is that working? Is that that working? Let me see. Is this overlay sub? That's working. Is the... Hmm. I don't know if the subs are working. I have no idea. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's supposedly. Yeah, supposedly the sub will follow. I don't know. I haven't looked. Also, the Union Jekyll. Oh, Jazzy Fox just showed up. Look at that. It works. Yeah, yeah! I'm gonna make the newest follower a little bit bigger. Is, what are you currently writing? Purple Murex, I'm writing a couple of book proposals right now. So if I just get, if I just get my ass in gear, but hey, I'm doing a daytime stream instead. If, yeah, you're right. If Tigal wasn't here, it wouldn't feel like a stream. Will we get to see you in Supernatural again, says Ariel. Ariel Moose or Ariel Moose? Yes, I will be in an episode. Um, and I guess, uh, that, I don't think they're having other people up for episode 12, I don't know. Do you plan on streaming Dutch shows of Nahalbeck? Yes, I will. On September 17th, I believe is the release date now. Um, and I will be streaming that day. I'm very excited about that. Keep up the work on your podcast. Yes, so I'm, I'm using a Sony 4400. So for my schedule this week, uh, Sunday night, I will be playing um, Fall Guys probably with some friends. Um, if not, I will find a solo game, maybe some ooblets. Um, next Wednesday, I will be doing another solo stream because Amy Okuda is not back by Wednesday. So she, I will be pl probably playing Wasteland 3 or Foundation, which is a, uh, I've, been, I've been having a hankering for a town building game and that one looks really cool. So one of those two will happen. Monday, I might be doing a daytime sponsored stream of a really fun game. I do not have that 100% yet, so I'm not gonna tell you what the game is or guarantee it. That should um, hopefully happen over the weekend. So. Maybe look out for a daytime to Monday stream. Tuesday, I will be recording Felicitations Live. I hope to have a guest, even if it's just my brother, because <laughs> I need to try out the guest thing. So I'm, I, I'll be doing a dry run with somebody who is a friend, just to see if the guest thing works. Um, still haven't figured out the audio. I'm, I'm figuring out how to separately record the audio because ripping the audio from the Twitch stream sounded really bad. And I know people who are really sensitive to that on the, on the podcasting front will be unhappy. Thank you, Schemo. Um, so we'll see. Uh, if you have any questions for the podcast, please send them in because I need more questions for next Tuesday. And then um, next Friday night, instead of a daytime, uh, I will be doing a nighttime because I'll be playing Fall Guys with Amy Okuda and Gary Witta and me. 
Well, he's doing a new Fall Guys. He does the Animal Crossing um, interview show, and he's doing a Fall Guys interview show. So we'll be playing that. I'm really excited. Uh, yeah, Audacity. I had I have been doing the Audacity thing, but I have not be. I can't do that with a um, with a guest. So I've been looking into a couple Zencaster and CleanStream. Those are two that I looked into that perhaps I can record over there for the podcast side, and then we could just broadcast on the podcast uh, on the Vizcast side. Is that a word? Punisher, thank you for catching this. Are you streaming from a different room today, Felicia? No, Lineax, I've been uploading all my old streams to my YouTube. And thank goodness for Toronto Gal and Rocket Soup who have been helping me to do that because there were like a hundred streams. And all my mods are pulling together to do thumbnails for me. So if you've been seeing the streams uploaded, they're probably old, um, but we're catching up. We're catching up to actually this room streams. And I think Stardew Valley, and the stuff with Amy Okuda will be coming soon. So we're gonna be caught up within three or four weeks because I'm uploading two to three a day. So we'll get up caught up and then I'll be um, uploading day and day. I will upload felicitations day and day and that's about it. Thank you, Shadrach. That's very sweet of you. Um, we have a really good hype train going here. I really appreciate that, you guys. It's a really good quick camera you're using. Thank you, Blue Sal. When I get into my actual office, it's gonna be so, so much cooler because I'll have uh, everything set up and I'll have two lights on. It's gonna be really awesome, I'm excited. I loved you in the guild and when I first saw you in Supernatural, I was so hyped I screamed like a little girl, even though I'm a guy. Ah, oh, well, everybody has a high voice in them. And a low one. Is Ryan gonna promote his Limitless program? <laughs> I'm hoping to get Ryan to do a little bit of Fall Guys Sunday night, but we'll see. Um, even though he is NSFW to the max, this is going to be a family-friendly stream. Like most of them, be, oh my God, you wanna come and, and organize my house so badly? Well, the problem is that half the house is filled with new stuff for the addition and old stuff that's just crap. So this is not where everything is going. Ryan NSFW, no way, oh boy. Anyway, um, okay, let's do it. Mom life is great, you know, she's in the other room. I actually, the real reason I'm moving my stream from Friday nights to Friday days in general is because Calliope, her, uh, she's addicted to going to bed with me. She always wants me to go to sleep with her. Sometimes I'm sure you've heard her screaming in the other room. And since I've been streaming, I used to only stream one night a week, but now I moved it up to three nights a week and it seems to be a little bit too much for her to handle. So I'm gonna do, oh, thank you, Breva Slump. And thank you for the sub, Kimi Cola. Um, I'm basically trying to cut out a nighttime so I can go to sleep with her again. So we'll see. The question is, will the cat poop and stink up the room? Well, I have the door closed. I hope she doesn't make her way in. Oh boy. I had a great nas light nest last night. I, oh, I got the audible of your never read on the internet and I went to sleep and woke, woke up to your voice. Oh, that's amazing. So Zazu is here. I just want to give her a shout out. She's one of our core people, but she isn't able to catch us generally because she's on European time. And so also this was just a way for European uh, viewers to have a little fun with us. So let's get into the game. Let me get into the middle of the camera. Pansy's here? Wow, everybody's here. My three-year-old is the same, yeah. And like, people tell me, hey, in a couple years, she's not gonna wanna be around you, she'll have her own thing. And so, you know, I do have someone watch her during the day so I can work, and I'm like, well, I was kind of reluctant to pay a nanny to watch my kid while I play video games, but because I'm doing this more, because you guys are supporting me, and this really is something that grows my soul and makes me more creative, I'm like, this is a worthy thing, and I'll move it to the daytime, so. We could enjoy that. Now, if you guys are, let me see, are we are we distracted by this sub thing going over? I'm gonna move this over, you guys. I think we moved it because of the uh, Fall Guys. Oops, oh my God. Here, that's what I want, thank you very much. All right, that's really small. I'm always futzing with my stuff. One day I'll be professional. Oh wait, no, that's not my brand. <laughs> Duke fan, thank you for the sub. If I could get you, there we go. Okay, great. Um, let's do it. I, li I, li I love the earlier streams. I can finally watch you live from the Netherlands. I know, I'm excited, you know? We can please both coasts. All right, this is exciting because, okay, it's called Best Friends Forever, or Best Friend Forever, and it is a dating sim, which I love, and it's for dog owners. So let's see what's going on. Oh, Anonymous Cheerer. Thank you so much, Anonymous. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's do it. Let's start the game. Let's get some, get some tail. Is, could that be their, their catchphrase? Get some, let's get some tail. Wow, this is very loud. Let's uh, do some settings. Sound effects are very loud. 
I'm gonna turn down everything a little bit. Test. Doggo Ipsum Long Boys Hecking Very Hand That Feeds Shibe Maximo Bork Drive Long Doggo Wrinkler Heck Shube Heckin' Fat Rough Pepperino. What? It's all fun and games till a dog gets smart enough to use guns. Oh god. Alright, let's do it. Good morning, folks! We'll be pulling into our final stop in about 15 minutes. Thanks for joining us at Sunshine Coaches for your intercity tour journey. It's looking like a beautiful early summer day in Rainbow Bay. Perfect for taking your furry friend to the beach. I'm so excited. <laughs> we'll be putting the radio back on now so none of you fall asleep again. <laughs> Good morning, Rainbow Bay. This is Rise and Shine with Shocky and Jockey. Oh. I'm your host, Shocky. Hey, Shocky. And I'm Jockey. What up, fam? You sound just like Shocky. Boy, do we have a show for you this morning. First up, why aren't you as happy as this couple? Welcome, Rach1121. Um, why aren't you happy as this couple? What's What couple are we talking about? <laughs> So this is, this is my inner monologue. So this is Rainbow Bay. I can't believe I'm finally here. That's my character voice, okay? It's even prettier than the flyers made it. Thank you, Esper, for the sub. Oh, I should take a photo while the sun's still rising. God, sunrise? Why are we going on a tour for at sunrise? This is very, way, very small. Great, babe, I said I was gonna play Wasteland 3 Sunday, maybe, but I might play uh, Fall Guys or foundation is that I don't know. Hmm? Huh, you know that island kind of looks like an island? A dog. A dog. Isn't it amazing what sorts of things can bring people together? What a story. Oh, boy. And you can live that fantasy, too, with Rainbow Bay's hottest dating app, Woofer. <laughs> Woofer? I've had somebody say that, and it was insulting. <laughs> Oops. Too right, Chucky. Ugh. I guess radio hosts are just bad no matter what city you're in. Cha-cha-ching! <laughs> guess we're not dating Shocky or Jockey. But really, romance could be just a wolf away. Wow, this is a- this is a- they're horn dogs. <laughs> if you're looking for a little... <laughs> then Woofer may be right for you. What exactly are they talking about? <laughs> I guess it would be a good way to meet people. Uh, dot, dot, dot. It can't hurt. Go on. Whoa, back off, disembodied, disembodied radio presenter. <laughs> I hope you're making a profile right now, but let's put on a little bit of our latest hit, You're My Best Friend, to get you in the mood. Then we'll be back talking with Rainbow Bay's own foxiest lady. Ooh, Jockey, you are... Sexy with that little skunk tail there. Mm. These radio hosts are weirdly pushy. I'm not moving all this way to miss out on another chance to make friends, though. Okay, Rainbow Bay, I'm single and I'm ready to woof. <laughs> I hope this isn't going to get me banned. Like, just suddenly just t t titties pop up, okay? Oh, boy. Woofer, woofer. People who love dogs would love people who love dogs. Oh my god, this is so exciting! Okay, what's my profile picture? What do you look like? Show us your best angle. Um, okay. Boy. Oh wow, I got three choices? I mean, that looks the most like me with short hair. I kind of like, I can't even carry off this side. I can't carry off the side part in real life. I don't know. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do this. This is more. Okay. Uh, poopy. Poopy and noose. I wish I could do uh, pronouns. Oh, this is cool. We could get we could do a pronoun. I'm gonna go she her. Oh boy, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be a cancer. I'm gonna just be me. I'm an O O. Uh, what is your blood type? Is this when the dogs eviscerate you? They want to know like how to get you some blood. Okay, here we go. Pick the answer. Okay, this is ooh. Okay, how's your day gonna be? Um. Time to answer some questions, Poopy. How's your day going? Be as specific as possible. Well, I just found out that I have not three, but four. I'm here and queer and I'm facing eternal despair. That's kind of fun. I would rate it a solid seven. Yes. <laughs> 
Hey, Joe Winchester. Rage, thanks so much for the sub. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely doing nipples. Which of these suggestively named cocktails would, be le would you be least willing to order at a bar? So, this might not be for babies, you guys. Slow, comfortable, screw against the wall. Sex on the beach, slippery nipple, or just ass. Would I order... I ha I'll just have an ass, please. Uh, I'll have a slippery nipple, please. I'll have a slow, comfortable screw against the wall, please. Nope. Would you least be willing to order at the ball? I'll have a sex on the beach. Um, this right here, I would not be comfortable <laughs> saying. <laughs> this is 18 plus, you guys. So if you're a baby, please don't... Oh, I'm sorry. I should be playing oublets during a daytime. Okay, well, listen. I will learn. My daytime streams will be a little more PC. When confronted with a human baby, how are you most likely to respond? Scream and run? Steal and use its hair to sustain yourself? S gently put it down and slowly walk away? Absorb its form? Wow, okay. Um, I like this one. This one you... Never PC. Take the step. Which of these glaring character flaws would most put you off on a date? Maintain a beans-heavy diet. Repeats your jokes but louder. Oof. Genuinely believes fedoras are fashionable. Yikes. Bases all life decisions on horoscopes. Wow, this is really hard. Everybody wanted me to absorb the baby. I gotta be me, y'all. I gotta be me. Um. I mean, I have a beans-heavy diet, so that's actually a plus for me. Because if we can fart together, that is where love brings you together. Um, repeat your jokes but louder. Horrible. Fedoras. I've been known to wear a fedora, so I can't do that. I do not like this very much, but I'm gonna do the repeat the jokes. My sister genuinely likes fedoras. I try to be supportive. Well, Captain Dora <laughs> Um, repeating jokes was the worst, right? Okay. How do you feel about being mugged? Not great, really. Maybe with the right person. Anytime, any, any day, any time. I prefer a soft robbing. I mean, it's not funny to be mugged, so I, I have a, a problem um, making... I'll, I'm gonna do a soft robbing. Which of these commonly searched phrases are most likely to be in your browser history? Why isn't 11 pronounced 1-T-1? That's a good point. Can I hire two private eyes to follow each other? Are babies dishwasher safe? How do you use the internet? Um, gosh, I feel like that one's one that I would actually maybe one time do that. These questions are not revealing of my personal... Um, wait, who, who's in a name says, my senior photo, I have bleached hair and a fedora. Federline got to you, didn't they? Okay, which of these scattering transliterations most upsets you? Dot, da ba dot, da do da, dot, da ba dot, da do da, zaba da ba do da, za we wo, ba do ya, do ya, do bop, ba do ya, do ya, do bop. Biddy diddy biddy diddy bolo bo bolo bo bodo lobo uh, this one. Eight of ten. I'm gonna find my love match here. In three hundred years time, dogs will most likely have ascended to godhood, replaced cars, their own network TV TV network, overthrow the capitalist regime. I think godhood. Why not? Yep. Yeah. Which of these sounds like the worst force first date? Attending an amateur interactive improv show. Power washing the exterior of each other's homes. That's the best first date. Helping each other's person's mom move houses. Hmm. Mum? These people are British, aren't they? Eight hours of nude drawing class. You're the subject. <laughs> oh, last one. What are you most likely looking for in a partner? Tax benefits? That's me. The capacity to raise offspring. A reliable blood. This is what... Real life. Uh, a reliable blood and or organ donor? Free therapy. Ooh. Organ donor. Okay, great. We've got some matches for you. <gasps> Ooh, this is exciting. Okay. Maribel, hot. 25, shares your interest in Pomeranians. Astrid, 23, shares your interest in the occult. Robin, 30. Esports, love her. Anders, Cooking, hot. Anders, be still my heart. Felix, true crime, podcast, no. Sasha, activism, no. Right here, right here. You know why? He reminds me of my true love in Stardew. Okay, wow, thanks. What an absolute banger. Okay, here we go. 
Oh no, they're still going. Yeah, and speaking of bangers, we've got Miss Tech. Fox Ainsworth, here and ready to discuss anything other than my real name. Oh, interesting. She's got uh, a lovebird and a cockatoo. <laughs> all right, all right. Fox's rainbow base. Demetrius, very own not Elliot. Expert, Although he's a little Elliot, too. Animal yeah. purveyor and radio host interrupter. And Great. bird lore aficionado. Is that you, Kiwi? As our resident animal lover, Fox, what do you make of a dating app for doggo? Makes sense, doesn't it? Rainbow Bay has been named the world's most dog-friendly town by Paws Abroad magazine every year since 2016. It sounds like you, Kiwi. We also have the highest dog-to-human ratio, with almost every adult owning at least one dog. Wow, I'm gonna bang some people with dogs. Yeah. Ragnar, thank you for the sub. <laughs> Really? With so much of the city being dog friendly, you must know some hot spots for young weirdest, lovers to bring their This is the weirdest companions. radio station. Also, we're just idling in a bus for hours. Also, there's a joystick in the bus. Try just about anywhere. And they're di South driving South on the right hand the side of the road, y'all. So a great place to play together in the sand. Okay, I'm going to South Shore. There's lots of talk about Femur Island lately, though. Some say if you camp there with a poor pal who truly trusts you. The spirit of the world's best dog will appear. Oh, good! So I'll be haunted. This is great. It was wow. made in New Zealand. Okay. I wonder what happens when you stay there with a soulmate. Hubba hubba. Okay, this guy. This guy. Probably nothing. But as this I was guy. saying, Rainbow Bay has, has a lot high of Pokemon of things on its wall. That's all I got to say. But also plenty of young singles. Okay. That reminds me, I should really get a dog before I start trying to meet people on Woofer. This is a terror. So basically, I just signed up for a dating app where I don't even have a dog. I'm that desperate to get laid, you guys. Oh, I don't know about that, Fox. I've been trying to find a date for years and found nothing. Jockey, there's a reason. I'm not sure that's a fault of the dating pool, Jockey. Rainbow Bay was voted last year's number one singles mingling okay. spot by Ducky Ducky Quarterly. Oh, Ducky Ducky Quarterly. Okay. For all we know, there's a bright-eyed soul searcher sitting on a bus on their way to Rainbow Bay as we speak. Okay, I'm trying to center myself in my camera because everyone keeps complaining about that. Okay, here we go. All right. I am, am I being punked? Are they just basically under the dashboard just watching me? This is where... She's right, Jockey. You're single because you're wholly unlikable. I mean, even their report... <laughs> well, that's all oh, the sorry, I didn't let you speak. Fox sorry, Jockey. Coming up next... Play to win a double date with Jockey and I. That is F against, that is against FCC rules, okay? Boy, oh boy. Okay, folks, thanks for riding with Okay, folks, thanks for riding with us today. We've arrived in Rainbow Bay's Arts District and we'll be unloading your bags at any moment. Well, this is me. Here goes nothing. Rainbow Bay, please be kind to me. I'm so desperate for a date. I'm li I moved to a, a, f a strange island just to be able to date someone. I've ruined the dating pool on Cat Island, and man, did Parakeet Island go south for me. New pictures, new apartment. I was pretty lucky to find this place online. I hope it lives up to pictures. Let's see, apartment 204. It should be uh, here. Um, there's someone trying to slip something under my door. Can I, <laughs> is that a subpoena? Not again. Not again. Hi. Oh. Okay, we got a hottie. Mm. He puts a sweater on his dog. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh, gee. Oh, you just you must have the tiny, tiny, silent feet of a mouse or like a ghost. As he stands up, I realize he's holding a stack of papers in one hand, and there's a brintle, brintle pattern Italian greyhorn curled up and wearing a turtle in the other. Well, so much for the papers, but this right here. Also, what an amazing way to tuck this dog in the crook of his arm. He doesn't even have to hold it. This dog is basically part of his sleeve right here. Wait, you're not a ghost, are you? Oh, I'm a ghost, all right. The ghost of apartment 204. <laughs> I'm here to haunt you and make your jokes about court orders. Woo! Is this going well yet? <laughs> oh no, I knew the night with the Ouija board would come back to haunt me. We have a rapport, don't we? My name's Sasha. The little guy is Marshmallow. Oh, now he's talking. I saw the I saw the movers bringing boxes in yesterday, so I assumed someone was in there now, but no one answered my knocks. Oh, I guess they got here before me. I just got in from New York. I'm poopy. I'm undateable there. New York, huh? I lived there for a couple months. You didn't happen to frequent Superior Vena Java. Um. 
Uh, the milk bar? Of course, I'm a big fan of their adrenaline shot espresso milkshake. We have so many things in common. I, my dog's in the other room, I promise. <laughs> huh, yeah, my favorite's the mainline surprise. That's a little strong for me. I like my coffee like my romance. Just like weak and maybe watered down and, and sort of like vague and you don't even know what it is and no caffeine whatsoever. <laughs> Mostly sugar and covered in whipped cream. <laughs> exactly. Can I cover you in whipped cream? I promise I have a dog. So what brings you to Rainbow Bay? Uh, you know, night, night, new life, new career. I'm leaving my old marketing job behind. You know, I was a telemarketer. It was great. I, I made so many friends that way. Oh, a former carpet grunt seeking new life in Seaside Town. Well, I'm glad to be the first person to welcome you to Rainbow Bay. Thanks. Sasha Winks pulls out a sheet of paper from the stack in his hand and thrusts it forward. You're going to want this if you're new to town. I take the paper from his hands and I look it over. It's a flyer for a dog adoption drive tomorrow morning at a local vet clinic, the Paw Prince Pet Center Center, in collaboration with the Pot of Gold Youth Association. I work with a youth group for underprivileged and queer loons in the Bay. Every dollar you spend on adopting a dog helps us set a community dorm. Ha! <laughs> Make me naked! Everything about this town so far is bare of Zarly serendipity. Aren't you just the best little marshmallow in town? Uh huh. Uh, Sasha lifts Marshmallow to his face and scratches behind his ears and scrunches up his nose as dog looks at it affectionately. The Pog Youth Inso Association? <laughs> Is this how people flirt now? Oh, it's so cute. I mean, the dog, not him. I mean, yes, he's okay. I just need to shop around. Also, I need a dog. Sasha looks up again, trying to wipe his, wipe his face inconspicuously and grin. It'll be super fun. Trying it, trust me, you might just find your four legged forever friend. <laughs> Why not? Uh, will I get to see you there? I'm not desperate. I literally will take you. You're the first one I saw. Were you hoping to? Oh, it's just like I really don't have any friends in the area. I'm still blushing. Do you see this? I actually, it's actually, I have a vascular disease. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. I have to be at the community center tomorrow, so I can't make it to the drive. Besides, I've already got my own whittle buddy to keep me company, don't I? Don't I, boy? Oh my god, when you talk to your dog like that, it's so sexy. Sasha starts covering the top of Marshmallow's head in countless timely kisses. Ah, ah. Marshmallow recognizes his affection and reaches up to place his front legs either side of Sasha's neck. He's hugging Sasha? He hugs like people. He also tastes like it, tastes like it too. Aren't you oh. just the best little marshmallow in town? He sure does, he's a clever boy. After an uncomfortably long, silent hug, <laughs> Sasha pulls Sasha back down and straightens up, grinning. Hey, wait, am I supposed to be attracted to this person for doing an uncomfortably long, silent hug with his dog? <laughs> Catch you later. Catch you later. It was nice meeting you. I live upstairs, so I guess we'll be neighbors. I hope to see you later. I'm going to go upstairs and uncomfortably hug my dog for a long time. <laughs> yeah, see you around. Just like that, Sasha trots away with Marshmallow happily resting in his arms. Hmm. Uh, it's... SPCA? Yeah, I would like to report uh, an intimate relationship with a dog that feels inappropriate. Everyone's afraid of this dog. Um, beh okay, behind that door lives my new home. No ghosts, no memories, just new beginnings. I hope it's everything I imagined. Here's your new family! Um, hmm, okay. It could be, I mean, you have, it's fully furnished. You have a, a huge tic-tac-toe board on the wall. This is wonderful. I poke around the apartment. Look, there's a, there's a portal to nowhere right here. Look, you can go inside and maybe say hi to the Antichrist. I poke around the apartment, checking all my boxes of a ride. The place is small and a little worse for wear, but it's cute in its own way, I guess. <laughs> As I move from the kitchen to the living room and then my bedroom, and then I realize it's only four paces to each room, I realize I'm gonna have to decide how to arrange all my furniture and maybe get rid of most of it, because I have four. There's no one else to tell me I can't push all my furniture together to make a sofa island anymore. Ha <laughs> ha, take that, Jared. I never wanted to be with you anyway. Is that an Xbox? No, it looks like she doesn't have an Xbox. It's like a DVR, I don't know. I smile to myself a little and slice open the first box of kitchen supplies with my door key. It's unpacking time. <laughs> oh no, the movers didn't steal that picture. <laughs> many, many hours later, my place looks exactly the same. Like literally, I haven't moved one thing. 
this box is unopened. These things on the shelf, whoever did that? Hmm. <laughs> in my final hour, the sun has disappeared. I lie alone in the cardboard grave I've made for myself. Okay. When they eventually find my body, they'll discover only my bones, clutching a pair of keys in one hand, covered in empty cheese single wrappers. Huh, this isn't sad. The investigators will look around baffled. What happened here? Why did this person own so many different Tupperware containers? And why did none of them have lids? This is my inner monologue all the time. No wonder no one wants to date me. They'll find my collection of novelty mugs. Wow, they'll think Poopy was so well-traveled. Look at all those cities they brought mugs in. But they are fools. I bought them all online. They'll find my passport expired and used only once. They'll never discover what happened to here. Not until it's too late. The boxes will consume them. Three more lives will be lost to the cardboard oppression. Nobody will cry for me. They'll stand over my headstone and wonder, did Poopy ever have drink from those mugs? No, I did not. I should probably go to bed. Look at me, I have, I have sweat coming out of my head. Why unpack today when I can unpack certain items only when I desperately need them to survive, right? Good night, Rombo Bay. Hope I get laid tomorrow. Uh, what's here? What, who's that? Okay, in my panic, I threw my phone across the room along with about seven t-shirts I've been using for warmth. Wow, I am a material, y'all. I could just keep it going until the battery dies. I wonder how long that would take. Clearly, I'm not depressed. Wait a minute. It's dog adoption day! Get your shit together! Wow. Get out there! One panicked a woober. Oh boy, the puns in this game, y'all. Oh geez, there are a lot of people here. I mean, there's one dog for every single person, except people. so many people get laid when they come to Rainbow Bay that like... This is basically just the people on my bus. Oh geez, there are a lot of people here. I should have gotten them early. Okay, everyone, we have a lot of dogs available. There are more people here than there are dogs, so we need you to form an orderly line, calmly and quietly. Before she can finish, everyone in the crowd comes alive and bolts toward the reception desk and hoping to be the first to pick. Wow, this is how it should be every day. Oh, I need to get in that line. I frantically throw myself forward into the crowd. I've definitely been in less energetic mosh pits. Hey, no cutting! I cut somebody else. It's Battle Royale here, and I will not be the first to die. Shove it, strangers! I get out my katana and just start... Type O blood keep start squishing everywhere. Eventually, the situation cools down, and despite a lengthy, lengthy army, argument with a suited man who thought he could cut in front of me, pink shirt, I find myself in the place in the middle of the line. I can see the vet standing behind the reception chat vest desk. Her face has stayed a constant visage of what I could only call doneness throughout this whole ordeal. Oh, my assistant Quincy will take your details at the desk and then you'll be invited into the exam room to pick from our available dogs. <clears throat> at that moment, the door of the far wall, far wall cracks open and a sheepish looking man sticks his head out. Hotty. <laughs> hey. Hey, everybody. I'm just, I have a sleeve. You can lick it. He sidles through the partially open doorway, pulling the door shut and closed behind him. And as he does, he gives one quick final glance into the room beyond, then turns at the vet. Hey, Jade. Uh, we might have a problem with old cheese ball. That sh the Shiba will be the death of me. All right, I'll corral the troublemaker. You start getting people's details down. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye. Quincy takes over behind the desk, clicks his pen a few times, and looks up with an astoundingly bright smile. Please undress me. All right, who's up first? Ready to meet your best friend forever? Hi, it's just a waiting game now. I like your, t can I lick your teeth? I'm willing to look over the man bun, it's true. Okay, dog owner number 24. That's me, hi. I've just been staring at you. Maybe uh, I've been using my type O blood to paint a, a little bit of a portrait of you. I love your man bun. It's so very Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> hey. You're an unfamiliar face. Always nice to make some new friends. Welcome to Pauperance. Hey, Cecil Bones. Thanks. I, thanks. I had no idea this dog adoption was going to be so busy. It's like the graveyard of teenage bug woman in here. <laughs> that made no sense. <laughs> yeah, I like that scene where all the go zombies were chasing after the bug woman. Get back, you non-insect flesh eaters. You'll never take me al un undead. In hindsight, that movie's dialogue needed a lot of work. Oh, it's no at day they eat, that's for sure. Oh my god, you love bad movies? I love bad movies. Let's mate. Um, the night may be over, but it's not the darkness we must fear. I can quote things. It's the day, for the day is when 
is when the warm bread wake. The day is when they eat. Let's do the whole movie just naked. Let's read the script together. I can't believe humans were the bad guys all along. It's a really powerful allegory for the environmental destruction caused by animal agriculture, right? Anyway, unfortunately, you're pretty late to the game. Not many dogs left. Oh, no. But worry not. That just means you're fated to adopt the one little fuzzy little buddy waiting for you behind that door. The one that just tore open a few... <laughs> torn up a, a few uh, stomach cavities. That's it. Let's get the details sorted out. Okay, name? Poopy Anus. It's real. It's my real name. Well, it's wonderful to meet you, Poopy Anus. I'll just get you to fill out all these other boring bits with the old pen and paper. There we go. This is a lot. It is a lot. Quincy swivels around in his wheelie chair as a form edges its way out to a nearby printer before sliding said form and ballpoint pen across the desk toward me. It's all the usual stuff. Age, phone, address, phone, age, living situation, where your dog will sleep. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Um, hey, why do you need to know where my dog will sleep? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we watch you. It's so we can kidnap the dog after you pay the adoption fee and just kind of recycle them. Oh, sure, of course, right? That's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let me out. Uh, so... Uh, I nearly had you there, right? No, it's just so we can get an idea of the kind of uh, lives that the sweet little pups are going to be living at. Uh, uh, leave our care. Plus, it helps us understand how they're going to be living if they have any issues with later checkups. Pretty straightforward. There are a few more questions along those lines. You know, organ donation things. I see. Well, I think I'm done filling this out. Quincy rubs his hand together excitedly as I slide the form back across the desk in a very, very nice manner. Hmm. All right, let's see what you're working with. Huh, renting, small apartment. Huh, never owned a dog before, huh? Get out. Is that going to be an issue? No, probably not. Dr. Kim can run out through all that with you. She should be ready for you now, so why don't you take this form and let her have it? The form, I mean, I wouldn't cross Dr. Kim if I were you. She'll murder you up straight up. She'll cut you. With one last wink, Qu Quincy does a 360 spin in the chair then dramatically points me toward the far door. Finger guns and all. Oh! Ew! Finger guns? I was totally into him until the finger guns. Ugh! Thanks for your help. No problem, poopy news. Okay, time to meet some dogs. How's it going? Oh, she's friendly. Wow. Poopy? Uh, yes, ma'am. Take a seat. I'll be in a minute. I just need to fire someone just for fun. Dr. Kim barely looked up when I entered. She's sitting at a computer in the far corner, intermittently tapping away at the keyboard before sighing and rustling some papers on the desk. Ah, oh, the joys of daddy entry. I have a quick scan of the room, but the only seat seems to be the one she's sitting on. Unless there's an examination table. Does she want me to sit there like a dog? No, surely not. There must be another option. Quick. Uh, uh... Uh, pose naturally on the table. I have to act quick. It's clear this is the only other seat. I mean, she's a vet, so she uses her patience sitting on the table, right? I can't be caught looking around like I don't belong. I need to seem like a respectable, fast-thinking dog owner. Uh, so I begin my ascent. The first leg. It feels more natural. I'll hoist up and... Over! Oh, heck. I haven't stretched in months. Ouch! Uh, I'm in the middle of the, of the examination room. One leg swung across the table. I can feel every tendon in my leg, and my groin is screaming. The heat from my leg muscles emanates into my face, and I'm sure my skin could provide a sustainable energy source for a whole new planet. My arms start to water desperately as I do everything in my power not to squeak and or cry hopelessly. <laughs> Why did I stretch first? What hope is left for me now? <laughs> Why? Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Um. Uh. So I'm just gonna bring out the dog while you figure out your situation? Yes, ma'am. Dr. Kim rolls her eyes slightly as she turns away and leaves into another room seemingly full of kennels. Wow. She really is me, this girl. <laughs> There's only one way to undo this hell I've cast about myself. I let my body go limp and I slump to the floor graciously. This is the start of every 1990s rom-com, okay? Or Hallmark Channel, with a little bit more God in it. Okay. The writer of this dialogue has a three-picture deal Sony with, I'm sure. <laughs> hey, Finn! I consider letting myself lie there, but I don't know when she'll be back. Reluctantly, I find my feet again, and I stand to attention as if making up for, up for what I just forced the good doctor to witness. Like clockwork, she returns. We have four dogs for you to choose from. Take a look at their kennel cards and see who you'd like to take home. I promise they're all wonderful dogs who will make you happy. Are you ready? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. 
All right, now take your pick and please excuse their names. That's all Quincy, feel free to change them. Hi there, I'm Titan. I'm a female Maltese, I'm four years. I have very little, okay, look. Very low trust level, very lack of fitness. Look at this. Oh boy, what's her backstory? Hello, my name is Titan and I'm excited to meet you. Even if I seem shy, you can tell I'm happy by looking at my busy little tail. I'm a four-year-old Maltese Terrier. I was found in a big storm one day a long time ago, which might be why I've had a lot of trouble with my heart. I've been through quite a few operations. Ever since then, I've been to a lot of lovely families who agreed to look after me while I got better. Now I'm looking for someone permanent. I'm sort of scared of new people. But once I get used to someone, I'll give them all the attention in the world. I love to sit on warm laps when I'm not curled up in my favorite blanket. I like short walks and rolling around in floor. Sometimes I get a little too excited and make a mess, but it's only because I have a lot of love to give, even though I'm very tiny. Oh boy. All right, all right. This sounds like me. Hi there, I'm Blogger. Very high manners, very low trust, not very smart. Confiscated, oh no. Hi, I'm Blogger. Behind my intense face, I'm actually a big softie who just wants to play all day long. I'm a mutt, which really means I'm a mix of a lot of different breeds of dog. All the best bits. My previous owners didn't treat me very well, and some nice folks had to take me away. They cleaned me up and gave me a lot of cuddles and pats, and they're helping me look for a new home. Since I didn't get the best start in life, I could be a bit stubborn, and loud noises and shouting could frighten me. Treat me with love and care, though, and I'll be loyal forever. I love to run around, and I'm pretty... I'm pretty strong, so be careful to keep a tight hold of my leash when you take me for walks. I'm always eager to play, fetch, or explore since I didn't get outside much as a puppy. I might get a little too friendly or act scared sometimes, but a kind family could find a really good home in me. Please help me. Aw, big do dumb doggo. Oh, Cheeseball's the one they had a problem with, remember? But this is the dog I want. I always wanted a Shiba Inu. Always rescue. Aw, uh, Shiba. She's only nine months old? Very bad manners, very bad socially, not a lot of trust, very smart. She's fit. So I thought we were exactly the same person except she's fit. Okay. Hello, I'm Cheeseball. Just because I show delicious doesn't mean you should eat me, Joe. I'm a Shiba Inu and I'm only nine months young. That means I can be a bit of a handful and can still use some socializations. The most important thing you should know about me is I'm a free drinker. I should mind doing what you say, but only because I want to. I'm a proud Shantoose, but my neighbors don't seem to like my Shriva scream very much. I don't know why. It's beautiful and I'm a... Uh... And I'm beautiful. If you're gonna adopt me, you need to be prepared to not let me manipulate and you're getting what I want. I can be very convincing. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like Cheeseball, even though being in an apartment is probably... If this is the voice, I vote no. But Cheeseball just for the voice. We have some uh, differing opinions. Hi there, my name's Cardigan. I have absolutely no manners. I will take a shit in your face. <laughs> I'm not very sociable. I'm very trusting. And because I'm really, really dumb, I'm very, very fat, though. I'm 11 months old. Greetings, potential family. My name is Cardigan, but you could call me Cardi for short. I'm a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. I'm about three years old, but it's hard to tell exactly when my birthday might be. I was found wandering the streets, and I'm in a bit of a rotten state. Despite graduating from the School of Hard Knots, I love people, especially little ones. Please be careful with me around other dogs, though, as they scare me sometimes. Even though my hips get a little sore sometimes, I love to get a lot of exercise. I'm happy with a high-speed chase through the... Trees or sedate amble to the local shops. Have somebody ready for me to chew on after you die. Me, you might lose a pair of shoes. Give me boundaries and I'll love you forever. Oh boy. I don't know, you guys. This is a hard one. Wow. Hmm. I love all of them. I kind of. Oh boy, this is really bad. Guys, let's do a poll. Somebody do a poll. I'm gonna let you guys choose. I'm gonna let you guys choose. I'm gonna let you guys choose, okay? Is Vincent is not here to make a poll? Let me see. I don't know how to make a poll. Let's see. Um, poll says 100% cheese ball. I'm, is this the voice you wanted to? Wait, what was that? I was with cheese ball. I think cheese balls too. Cheese ball. Cheese ball. Wait, I really want cheese ball, but I love polls. Cheese ball. Cheese ball. Okay. Okay, T-Gal's gonna do the poll. I mean, just know that my personal preference is probably cheese ball. Cheese ball! Oh, here's Cardigan. Oh, I tried Cardigan. Ah, uh, I mean, God, and this, this one is, uh, oh, where's, where's, where's the game? Where's the game back? Give me the game back. Cardigan, here's Cardigan, I'm just, I just need to be loved. 
Titan. Oh my god, my name is Titan, and you know, I'm, I'm a Maltese. Hi, hey, I'm Belker. I'm really dumb. Hey, I'm, I'm, it's just, I really need to win. Oh, t Gob's gonna do it. Cardigan or Cheese Ball take the step. Okay. I'm forgetting these voices, so. Boy, voiceover dad says Titan. I think you're the only person who actually wants Titan. You're literally the only person. Titan is super, super. Which dog? Here we go, guys. Which dog? Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Blocker and Cheese Ball. So, Titan? Nobody wants me to go with Titan. No one. I think that Titan would be the least one that I would. I would, you know, I would probably, in real life, would 100% do Cheese Ball. Wow, we're getting a lot of poll. These are big numbers, guys. Big numbers. 88 people want Cheese Ball. 92. It's a Cheese Ball. I would do Cheese Ball. Now I feel bad for Titan. I know. Titan loves going to the vet frequently. She loves it. She'll be fine here. Okay, I'm going to go with Cheese Ball. It looks like Cheese Ball is not going to be... A lot of blocker fans. A lot of blocker fans. Okay. All right. We're going cheese ball, guys. Poll is closed. Adopt me. Oh, yes. I'm, to I'm totally fine with my cheese ball. I have a cheese ball. Cheese ball. Now I need to get blocker at home. Aw. Don't worry. Ty Titan can get a voiceover acting job for a goblin in Warcraft. <laughs> All right. Here we go. It's a cheese ball. What's this? Cheese ball is your new best friend. Hmm, it looks like they need some reassurance. Give them some pats. Oh, I can pat them. Oh no, we need to rename Cheese Ball. Uh, guys, what's Cheese Ball's new name? What's Cheese Ball's new name? Um. Oh boy, Doge, Squints, PP. <laughs> Somebody wants me to name him Blocker. <laughs> Cuddlefeck. <laughs> Sir Pickles is really good. Sir Pickles makes me laugh. Cheddar. Cheddar. Deez balls. <laughs> cheese ball. I kind of like cheese ball too. I think I might keep cheese ball. My shape cheese ball. Cheese ball. I'm going to go with. Che Guys, I'm, going I'm staying with cheese ball. Cheese balls. You know what? It's cheese balls. Cheese balls. <laughs> cheese balls. Oh, it's two Z's. I don't know how two Z's got there. Cheese balls. Cheese balls. Now there's an excited dog. You seem like a good match. Oh, cheese balls starts to dig. Exciting. Um, click and drag up to be not. Wait, you're the proud owner of a new hole. Where'd she make a hole? Is there, this like a dirt farm? Pickle Rick. <laughs> I think she likes you. Now, uh, your form says you're a first-timer. We don't want to let that stop you, but it's important that any dog who leaves paw prints is loved and looked after properly. Also, fill that hole. So it's going to be a condition of job adoption that both you, yourself, and Cheeseball's Pass Paws Academy, our dog training program. <laughs> Cheeseball Inu is the breed name. Really? Okay, that's it. We'll provide some basic tools to help you bond with. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. Click and drag them back. Oh. Oh. Pet, pet. Oh my god, my disembodied hand can do this. Pet, pet, pet. Rub your face. Rub your face. Every five weeks, we'll check in with your class to see how you're doing like a class review. After 15 weeks, we'll be having a final examination to see if you and Cheese Ball are going to be the right for you. When do I get laid, doctor? 15 weeks, huh? That sounds doable. I'm sure we're going to get along just right. I'll definitely find a fiancé by then. Or, uh, yeah, a fiancé. Liz Hid, thank you so much for the sub. I don't doubt it. Just see Quincy on your way out. Let him know you're joining Paws Academy. It's like school, but for dogs. He'll set you up with all you need for cheese ball. All right. Thanks, Dr. Kim. Ah, uh, please. Next time. Jade is fine. Oh, she's hitting on me, guys. She's hitting on me. The crowd is almost completely cleared out. It's actually a pretty peaceful in here. There's just a soft white noise of people talking amongst themselves as they wait. Oh, would you, would you, would you for their appointments? Uh oh no 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 don't dig this dog has like titanium quincy seems busy talking to a woman with thick unruly hair she's leaning against the desk with one arm i see she's a uh has a leash in her hand she's very sexy cheese ball did a big fart good job <laughs> on the other end of the leash a well-groomed dog slightly longer than it is tall it's t it's coat is shiny and mottled with silver black tan and white i love those dogs too pretty pups would you, would you, woo? No, 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 
you managed to wrangle Cheeseball back under control. You need to calm down, Cheeseball. Uh-oh. No. Cheeseballs! Before I even try to get Cheeseball to behave, I'm being pulled toward the reception boat. Cheeseball! No! Orf! Cheeseball shoves her snipe right up the, to the Aussie and continues barking, but the other se dog seems very well behaved. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like we got a newbie here, Quincy. <laughs> oh, someone's been excited, I say. Oh, sorry. I'm so my dog, Cheeseball. Stop! The Aussie looks at Cheeseballs with his mouth open, tongue hanging out. If anything, it seems happy to see her dog. And yet, Cheeseballs keeps going. Okay, Cheeseball, get out of their butt! Cheeseball! Here. Here's Let me help. Let me help. I'm sexy. I put a little more give into the leash, and immediately Cheeseballs starts barking, and instead it paces freely around the Aussie, sniffing. A lot of the time, aggression is just a barrier frustration. You need to let her explore a little at her own pace. I let my lovers do that, too. Try not to let her make a habit of getting into other animals' spaces like that. It helps to reward her as soon as she sees another dog. Let her know that other dogs bring good things, like treats. All very good, Robin. Spoken like a true Paws Academy alumnus. Huh. I still remember a thing or two from the good old days, Quincy. Remember when we were lovers? Would you like a demonstration, Poopy? Back before Missile here started taking care of herself. Arf! <laughs> hey! Good day, miss. How are you? Arf! Crikey, she's a talkative one. Aw, they licked. Good doggy. Wow, Crikey, sh shall we get you checked into daycare, then throw another shrimp on the Barbie, Missy? And shrimp, I mean. You know what I mean. Mm. Here we go. What's with the accent, Quincy? Missile is an Australian shepherd. <laughs> Just trying to help her feel more at home. Good day, mate. You guys know I love that. She's never actually been to Australia. It's ancestral. I honestly don't think Australian Shepherds even are originally from Australia. Ignorant. Uh, don't be a drongo, Robin. I'm putting in a, the hard yaka to make sure this Sheila doesn't feel like she's lost out. Whoop, whoop. Oh, wait. Don't be a drongo, Robin. I'm putting in a hard yaka to make sure this Sheila don't feel like she lost out. Whoop, whoop. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, no waka. She'll be stoked to have a true real Aussie conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, hello! Oh no, you're not you two. <laughs> yeah, well, Sook, Robin, look here, Missile's ready for a ripper day. We'll keep a chocker so she's chuffed by the time your shift is over, yeah, yeah? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, Swedish. <laughs> Swedish accents are so hard. Damn you! <laughs> oh my god. What? She'll be all right. Let's anyway, I can. Look. What's this little one's name now? Cheese balls. Oh, and I'm Poopy. Nice to meet you, Robin. That's right. That's right. Robin Savage. Maybe I'll see you around town if you ever need a foreign object removed from your body that I put in there. Robin stands up straight and rolls her shoulders back before him turning to Quincy briefly. I actually need to head off to my shift. Is Missile all checked in? Sure is. Have a good day saving lives, Nurse Savage. Oh, so you're a nurse. Great. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, 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 no, 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 rub your face, rub your face. She seems kind of nice. She's a good one, Robin, never as calm as she lets on, though. It's hard to know what's happening under all those fiery locks, and believe me, I've been under them. Now then, pause academy, it's like, like school, but for dogs, got it. Yeah, heard that before? It's pretty hands-off, we'll provide you with the basics. Uh, we put a big focus on making it about you and your dog. It's only $9,000. Pick it up, poop. Oh boy, someone's got to do it. Quincy reaches under the desk and pulls out a brown paper bag, which he plops in front of me. In here, you got a set of toys, treats, tricks to get your training underway. This won't last the whole program, but it's fine. Theodorub, thank you for laughing. I'm a little offended on Ryan's behalf that he's, you tell him he's too NSFW. Come on! You'll be able to discover more as you train your dog and form relationships all across the city. Make sure you have at least one good, long, quality time with cheese balls every week and put the tools to test, okay? Uh, got it. I don't care. Got it. Thanks, Quincy. I'm just trying to get laid. Cheese balls. I'm gonna let him let her in the forest later. Mm. Hey, no problem. If you get any more questions, feel free to call us anytime. I'm on woofer. Don't be a stranger. Oh boy, nothing makes me happier than seeing how our adoption dogs are driving with their new owners. <laughs> you take care of cheese balls now. I'll take care of my own balls. I'll be trying my best. We got a lot to work together, do together. She and I. I gotta go waxing. See you next time, Poopy. A noose. With my Paws Academy starter kit in one hand and... Oh, wow. I spin around and put one foot ahead of the other. Onwards and other. Upwards. 
Cheeseball trots ahead of me, sniffing around, waggling her little tail, and she starts to tug me forward. Oh. Oof! Hold by the... Oh! Yes. It's like a male Lisa Bonet. Please let me in there. I ha fall headlong into a stranger on his way to the clinic, sending papers flying through the air like a burst feather pillow. Oh my god, it's so Meg Ryan. Oh. Oh my. That's a dilf? <laughs> it should be a doilf, right? Dog owner, I'd like to... Doilf. He's a vampire. Yes. Yes, queen. Yeah. I'm so sorry. That's quite all right. I just need those papers. Of course, let me help, please. I crouch down, releasing the starter kit and begin... Oh! Oh, pet cheese balls. It's okay, Blubby. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's okay. Uh-oh. They're legal documents. He owns my heart. I'd like to stretch toward another sheet just out of reach. It's snatched away by a blonde muzzle. I'm face to face with a bright-eyed golden laboratory. Holding the last sheet of paper, he nudges toward me slightly, offering the document. So cute. Thank oh, thanks. I'm oh. sure you're not bad looking yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. I was talking about the dog. I know. Just wishful thinking on my part. Hello. I'll get into that. I take a paper from the dog's mouth, extending my other hand to pat his head, but he hastily pulls away. Don't, oh, please don't pat him while he's working. Working? Hemingway is my guide dog. He's a good boy. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Don't. Come on. Cheeseball, come on. Oh, gosh, you're blind, yes, for the most part, anyway. Oh, so hot, so hot. Don't let that put you off, though. Love is blind, too, you know. I... I look like Lisa Bonet. Let's make love, please. Ugly sweater season. I know, I have an ugly sweater just like you. I can feel the color and testify in my cheeks. This man does not mince words. I don't know, I have a braid on. He has a braid on. Guys, he is so hot. Oh boy. Hmm. I'm Anders Hamilton, family lawyer. Oh my God. <sighs> Guys, I think he's a superhero, okay? He's, this is like, Dog devil, all right? Andrews extends a hand and I shake it in turn. It's warm, but not clammy. It's almost the perfect temperature. Oh my God, don't ruin this. His hand is far bigger than mine with more strength in his grip. I can feel a callus running along the base of his index finger. I stroke it back and forth. It's totally appropriate. The corners of his eyes pinch up as he smiles, betraying some age. Three, four hundred. <laughs> Nonetheless, his plaited hair is a deep raven tone, and occasionally he wafts the scent of sandalwood when he tilts his head. What? What? Guys, this game is over. I don't need anyone else. He looks like Johnny Depp in 20 years. It's true. Somebody fishtail, fish, fishtail baited his hair and put eyeliner on him, y'all. My handshakes don't usually last this long. Put my hand somewhere else. Did you get it? Thirsty on main. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Uh, oh no, I, I, sorry. Um, I let my dog shit on the floor. I'm really sorry. I was really into you. I didn't say I minded. You have very soft hands. Thanks, I, I like you. I think you have a callus. Can I peel it off with my teeth? <laughs> was that supposed to be a compliment? But you're right, it's from a chef's knife. I take classes. Oh my god! Do you do massages too? Can I kidnap you and just lock you in my bedroom? <laughs> Meanwhile, my dog is just sh crapping all over the pavement. Uh, I'd love to see what you can do with those hands. We're going for it, you guys. I'd love to see what you could do with those hands. Yeah, I can't really deliver that straight. Look, it's a hair commercial. My specialty is Eggs Benedict. Perhaps I'll make it for you if you're ever around in the morning. Well, can I come over at night? I'm more of a sweet breakfast person. Can you do waffles with extra whipped cream on your nads? Wait. <sighs> waffles are a little basic, aren't they? I'm a basic bitch. Wait, what? It's just there's a lot more that goes into Egg Benedict. It's more of a nuanced dish, both in terms of technique and on a palate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa. I'm a basic waffle bitch. Oh no! Oh, he turned, he's a food snob, you guys. I'll never be able to have a craft single with this guy. Oh no. I knew there had to be a catch. 
We're actually talking about food, aren't we? I take my cooking very seriously. If you're gonna be a basic ego bitch, get, get off here. <laughs> He's a, Angus McBagpipe, thank for the sub. He's a breakfast scientist, all right? He really is, this is, wah, ah. He's a blind lawyer who's a food snob and looks like a male Lisa Bonet. I don't know what to do here, but I need to up my game, y'all. He was too perfect. He had to have something going on, all right? If I sit, I sit down with a bat. I mean, my, my dog's name is Cheese Balls. The instant noodle, the horror, exactly. Ah. Oh. Anyway, I was actually on my way to a meeting. Do I smell Forever 21 on you? I also am wearing Tom Ford. Thanks for your help in getting these papers together. Not a problem. I think I put them back in the right order. If not, you'll be hearing from my lawyers. Ugh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I mean me. I'm my own lawyer. <laughs> I will sue you, though. Here, let me give you my business card. It has my personal address on it. Because I do business from my home. It's a loft. I have 40 employees in it. They're quote-unquote employees. Hamilton, Hamilton, and Hamphrey on the front. His details are on the back. Oh my god, he's Hamilton! Oh my god. He's beautiful, but is he worth the loss of actual cheese balls? It's true. Who's the other Hamilton? Oh, that's Hemingway. He's a partner. We're lovers, but we share. It's fine. I don't get the impression he's joking. Uh, I'll leave you to it, then. I'll Hold on, you haven't told me your name. Um, it's Poopinelia Esquire. That's it. The fourth... Uh, I'm a fledgling photographer and my dog is cheese balls, okay? You got my number. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. You have my number if you need it. Yep, see you around. A new guy, thank you for the sub. Aloha. Is this a sister wives situation? If it involves this guy, I'm okay with it. Cheese balls excitedly squirms as we take the streets of Rainbow Bay. Cheese balls, you're already getting me some, some, some tail. Thank you. Oh, he'll never be satisfied. It's true. Boy. But, I don't know. This is the beginning of a dastardly doer of people, poopy and cheese balls. Our first time terrorizing the streets. We just took a crap on the sidewalk. This is number. This is the number. Oh, he did a big fart, you did. You did a big fart. You did. I fall through the front door of my apartment without grace. Because I'm quirky. Thank you, Rono Gaming. That's really sweet. Thank you very much. The vet's clinic seemed a lot closer by car. It took over two hours to walk home. Because... Literally, I don't know how to discipline this dog. That's it. From now on, I'm a woobering everywhere. At least one of us still has energy. Maybe I can whip us some lunch for us then, cheese balls. I need to learn how to make, uh, I need to make, learn how to make Begs Benedict stat. Is that a yes? You borked. What is a bork? I don't know what a bork is, but is that a little, it's a woof, woof, woof. Hey, Twix. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I guess I should show you around the place. Come here, let me take you off your leash. No, don't tug. Manners, manners. Uh, like, I do that to all my dogs and cats. Uh, Clippy, no. I really, guys, I really, really want to make love to Hamilton, okay? Cheese balls, politely sits, waits as I unclasp the leash. Oh, it's a woochie. It's a woochie. Oh boy. Cheese balls forcefully licks my face, toppling me over in the process. Hey, we're not hooking up, okay? Look at me subbing. Nine times. Thank you for the sub. Thank you, Nina Timer. Nina Timer. <laughs> Whatever. Nina Timer. No, my face isn't food. Cheese balls, stop. Stop. You're gonna give me <laughs> you're gonna give me COVID. Oh, come on. You must be hung pretty hungry after all that pooping on the way home. I'm gonna whip us some some food. What would you like? A quiche? What? Woof, woof. I climb up from the floor. Floor, despite my plan, cheese balls hot on my heels, weaving between my footsteps with a puppy starter set. I place the starter set on the basket, dig around a bit, and pull out a large can of wet food. The smell of the food hits me like a freight train, and it's only a moment before cheese balls get the whip too. How much is am I supposed to give you? I guess the whole can. Great, you're gonna vomit and poop all over the floor. I empty the can into the metal bog bowl and I provide, provide it in the starter set and I set the overflowing bowl down. I don't know how to do anything. I kind of just want to watch her eat. Oh, Bridget, Bridget, Bridget. I love cheese balls. I'm so glad we didn't take one of those other mutts. 
I, ho I hope they found home, so seriously. As long as those other people don't take their dogs and try to hit on my vampire. Oh, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Would you, 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 would you? Oh, 10 pack combo. 20 pack combo. 50 pack combo. Oh, this is good. 75 pack combo. 100 pack combo. Okay, this is it. This is it. Remember that cookie clitter, cl cookie clip, sorry, cookie clicker game, you guys? Oh. All she needs is super insulation powder. She'll be like that little pink demon. So many pets. Fatality. <laughs> Fatality. No. No. I submit to the yawns that befall me, and I go to sleep. As she moves for, bowl, for away from her bowl and starts circling by the door. <laughs> what is she doing? Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. I did it. Poops is no more. Look, she pooped in the house. It's great. I'm, And that is how Poopy lost her hand. Guys, stop. I misspoke, okay? I misspoke. That's the FPFs of a, f a true gamer. It's true, Sammy Swan. I had to throw every window open the apartment and even dig out a few scented candles for my box. Oh, no, she's not potty trained. I guess she needed to poop. Even I poop sometimes. I think potty training will be your top priority, though. I'll get you a toilet pad for the balcony, too. What about a training session now? I need to figure out how this pause academy thing works. Okay. All right, let's see. Do I get any uh, awards? Poopy Hamilton has a ring to it, not gonna lie. Okay, so how to dog. Welcome to the dog quality time where you plan your pup's week and what skills you wanna train them in. Oh, this is great. Okay, on this card, you'll see your dog's traits. Each of these traits can be leveled up by doing activities that gain your dog BP, bork points in that trait. Here you'll see all the activities you and your pal can schedule for the week. These are the core of your strategy to pass Paws Academy with flying colors. You'll be able to pick five each week. A plus means that the activity will raise that trait. Minus means it will lower it. Choose wisely. Your five schedule slots can be seen up top here. You can pick activities to fill it up sequentially, but if you change your mind, you can cancel your choice by selecting the big red X at the top of a scheduled task. And there you have it. Fill up your schedule. All right, let's go. All right, so where's this cheese ball feels? Okay, so what we should, oh wow guys. Okay, so she's really bad on sociability. So basically, oh Sirius Tyroo, thank you so much for the gift subs, you're wonderful. Okay, so um, so basically she needs to work on her sociability and trust the most. So I think, and manners. So we're good about smarts, she's the smartest dog. So makes sense, and her fitness is pretty good. It's 11 p.m. here and I'm trying not to hard laugh too loudly. Well, Lobster, be careful. Hey, sexy, serious Tyroo. Everybody thinks serious Tyroo's sexy, huh? Interesting, this is the right game for you, Tyroo. Okay, so we want trust and sociability. So this one, big spoon, little spoon. We definitely want a little big spoon, little spoon. Um, energy and smarts. I don't know if energy is fitness, but, um, well, how do I, oh, okay, here we go. We want to make sure she keeps set, set, oh, her mood is not good and she's very untidy. So we need to somehow, where is tidy, tidyation? Where is manners? Trust in manners. Hygiene, where's hygiene? Can I give her a bath? Um, I think we could probably do for a uh, smarts and man, we don't need smarts right now. Fitness and trust. Fitness and trust, mm. um, sociability and manners for sure. Dog park day. Okay, so let's do sociability and manners. Then we could do pup flicks and chill. Does she have enough energy? Um, I don't need her to have more energy. I need her to have a little, um, I don't need her to be that. Yeah, okay, so trust and sociability, hmm. That's a good one. Employ. Okay, so let's do this. Hire a helping paw for your next photography gig. Oh. You want to move my camera? Oh, oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, I will move my camera. Okay. Hi. Oops. Okay. Doopy doo. Doopy doo. And there we go. Doopy doo. Ha! Oh, look at that! And also, I need to sit in the middle a little bit more. Okay. 
Um, let's see. Okay, so we had that. Uh, hmm. Fitness and manner. I mean, I guess we could... I just want to up that sociability, really. So... Oh, go get a pepperoncino. That seems like a place we could hit on somebody. And, um, let's, let's get some more manners, you know? Like, advocate for the adoption. Okay, let's do it. Over the course of the nap, cheese ball slowly pushes you out of the comfy spot on the couch. Sociability increased. Trust increased. Great. Within five minutes, cheese balls went a butt-sniffing circle at the dog part. They smelled some new friend. This is good. Employ a dog. Cheese balls worked that reflector like an absolute champ and only chewed a little bit. Wonderful. Oh, look, this is great. Cheese balls went to town on our pepperoncino and quickly moved on to sniffing other dogs' buttholes. Good job. You haven't noticed... Oh, okay. Look at this. After each dog quality time, you have dog care to make sure your pep is well-fed, clean, and happy. This is great. Look at her. She's filthy. Well, we need to... Okay. Using the activity list, you can choose what needs to be looked after. Okay, this is great. Loving the ponytail. Th ponytail, thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, she's starving, so she has to be fed, you guys. Each activity you pick in dog care time consumes one level of tolerance, so keep an eye on it. That you got time for shampoo and dry off. Okay. Um, well, we need to... Hmm. Mood is pretty good. Uh, we need satiation and then hydration. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to do wet food. I'm going to do wet food. Shake out enough wet food. Oh, this is great. Come on. There we go. Oh, this is great, you guys. Look at this. I didn't know this game would be so detailed. We're dating, but we're also... Hey, Tonzaga. Thank you so much for being here. We do have man hands. I don't want to say anything because I have man hands, but... Okay, so very stanky. Very stanky. We need to tend to this dog. We need to... Oh, her mood is going to lower. We have to... I'm going to do this. No. Um, hose her down. I think we should hose her down, huh? We got to hose her down. She's really dirty. I need, I need to brush her teeth. We're going to do this. Oh, she hates it. She's hating it. I hate you. I'm going to rip your face off. Okay. Uh-oh. Sati her satiation is not there anymore. We need to... Okay, so... I think just satiation and mood would be good, right? Let's just do give her a choose bone. There you go. There you go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Rah, rah, rah. There you go. Yay! Hose! Hose him! All right, I think that pretty went pretty good. Good job, cheese balls. That was a whole week of our lives, and I still haven't dated anybody. Cheese balls kicked up on the fur. It's been a really big day, hasn't it, cheese balls? I met a lot of people, though. Maybe I should invite everyone over for a housewarming. You're right, I definitely need to unpack first. Maybe I'll wait a couple weeks. That gives me more time to make more friends. I'm desperate. I need somebody now. How about now we head to bed and maybe use that card to call that guy? It wouldn't be too eager to call him at 2 a.m., would it? Yeah. This girl is a disaster. I know, she's so me. Aw, oh, doggo. Doggo. No! Why does this morning have to occur every day? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Look, my trust and mood are higher. 20-pack combo. 50-pack combo. 75-pack combo. 100 pack combo. Whew, okay. Just show up at their house. Guys love that. Exactly. What cruel god would let this happen? Oof, oof. I snooze. Ah, sweet peace. I could live like this forever. Oh, uh, no. Cheese ball, why do you have to forsake me? Fine, I'll get up, cheese ball. Killing me with the spam, spam pets. My dog would be so pissed if I did a 100 pack combo. I know, right? Just right on the face. <laughs> Oh, God. I did it too hard. I did it too hard. I would have... Okay, I'm up. You got your food. Are you happy now? No. Pull you up. You cannot dig through. We're on the second floor. Oh, no. You don't pooping tend to. Walkies. Time for walkies. Works every time. We are just playing a clicker game, yeah. All right, cheese ball. Time to take on the world when you get her. Oh, we have new messages. Oh, wait a second. I have an email. 
Poopy puppy love. Welcome to Woofer. We've matched you with a lot of hot singles around Rainbow Bay. They want to meet you. You might even run into these, some of these eligible hotties when you're out exploring the city. Attachments, suspiciousfile.exe. Great. All right. Anyone who's happy to hear from me will be visible on the map. Ooh. Wow, they'll fully disclose their location before you've even met? That doesn't seem safe. Awesome. But my whole journey up to this point has been suspiciously serendipitous. <laughs> That's amazing. Don't try this at home, kids. Let's go meet some strangers for the internet. This is this game is very well written. <clears throat> we are at Rainbow Day Live, a subsidiary of Obelisk, and can't wait to welcome you to our fully functioning social and map tracking platform. From here, you'll be able to check your emails or avoid your inbox, make decisions on which woofer bow to bark up, or to squeeze in some extra dog time with your dog and even use our social metrics to predict what kind of event you're walking into. Up top, you'll be able to check your email inbox from this envelope. You might receive emails from woofer pals. Keep in mind, it means you have new messages. Keep your inbox. Check your inbox. Ah, oh, motivation. The one thing that eludes us all. Hi. Your energy and motivation is finite, so use your motivation points counter up top to keep track of how mints you can fit into your week. Each activity will cost a certain amount of MP, so be careful that you can fit everything in. Major events are five, dates are three, and smaller interactions are one. Up for four types of events can be available on the map during a week. Encounters, which are small run-ins. Possinal time, that's for your puppy. Dates, you can figure this one out. And big events for major milestones. That's about it. Why not get started up by meeting the matched woofer cuties? Oh yeah. Encounter. Oh, should we encounter Maribel? She's really cute. Um, this is it, this is a map. I have five of these. Well, we have another one. Dog adoption fair. Love dogs, but we can't hold all these dogs. Come on down. Well, we already have one. This is a courtesy email to inform you apartment is ready. Okay, so these are just old. Puppy love is around the corner. Okay. We got all our emails. We read them all. Okay, so we can meet Encounter Maribel. What happened to my blonde hair, Felicia? That was a joke that a lot of internet people thought was hilarious. <laughs> I don't care. If you watch the RNC with anything but horror, I don't know what to tell you, man. Astrid Brooks. That's about as political as I'll get. Um... Who should we encounter? Maribel? Ask oh, guys, okay, poll it out. We need a little poll. Can we do a poll about who we want to hit on? Or should we... Wait, we can I think we have enough MPs to hit on LP oh, three people. So let's just do it. I mean, he kind of looks like Spike from Buffy. Let's do this. The Rainbow of Viola... I guess this must read a lot. So let's go. Uh-oh. We just... Uh, a service dog. I promise, a service dog. Um... Here it is, the Rainbow Bay Library. I'm kind of a surprise that dogs are allowed in here, even for Rainbow Bay. I mean, it's a library. What if a dog started? Oh. Hey, hey. Ugh, no one seemed to notice. I guess everyone in this town is just used to hearing dogs all the time. Relieved to avoid making a scene, I wait a moment before rewarding Cheese Balls' silence with a treat. Good girl, Cheese Balls. Good girl. Oh, Cheese Balls did a big fart just for. Wait, what? A library, you know, books, people coming to read, or just some peace and quiet. It's not really a place to have a conversation with your dog. Oh, shh. I looked abruptly at the young man. I recognize him from Woofer. I think his name is Felix. His hair is styled back, but not so much to seem pristinely groomed. Aw. It's more like he deliberately tried to make it look effortless. Hmm. His tight black shirt betrays a well-sculpted torso. What is the deal with his... Is he carrying two guns? Below his armpits sit two holsters, devoid of firearms. Is this his idea of fashion? Hmm. An ID tag hangs from his belt. It's a little too far for me to read. Can I get in your crotch and read your ID? Hmm. Ten anonymous cheers. Thank you so much for the emotes. I really appreciate that. Do it quietly. Sorry, officer. I don't want any trouble. Officer? No, I'm a, I'm a nude dancer. <laughs> Are you not a cop? I work here. You're a librarian, so why your holsters? <laughs> Uh, uh, it's one is for my phone and the other was for treats oh crap look at that he's a library cop treats for yourself no they're from Mulder he's around here somewhere oh my god his dog's name is Mulder nerd alert pew, pew, pew. Felix turns around and gives a sharp whistle. hey what happened to being quiet hey yeah look at this Look at this, I'm pissed. Oh, I'm the librarian, so I get to make an exceptions. Uh, I don't like your double standard. Before I can complain, an out large, lithe, 
I like how I describe a dog as alive. Comes bounding up from between some bookshelves and stops immediately Boulder. by Felix's size. Here Good boy. boy. He's a hypocrite. What is with all these guys in here? Felix pulls a small treat from his left holster. I don't like this guy. I don't want to. I don't want to date him. Okay, but maybe that's why I should date him. Arf! He's so well behaved. He's still pretty young. We're doing Paws Academy right now. There's a lot of training. Can I call you my Scully? Can I be your Scully? This is Cheeseballs, by the way. Uh oh, Cheeseball sniffs the ground and turns away from Mulder. Doesn't like it. They don't like each other. They don't like each other. Looks like she doesn't want to say hi. Probably for the best. This isn't the ideal environment to be in introducing two untrained dogs. I hate this guy. Cheeseball shuffles behind my legs and stares at the door. You're probably right. Maybe we could hang out some other time and give them a chance to become friends. I'll do anybody. This guy sucks. It's true. I hate him. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted, I guess. I could show you around the gym sometime. Now. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I'm not allowed in gyms. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Don't dig a hole... Don't dig a hole to the other realms in the library. What? In gyms. You're not allowed in gyms? Yes. I was banned from all gyms for life. <laughs> By who? By the authority that gave you that holster. Oh, thank you, Death Warmed Over. The government? Sounds like there's a mystery afoot. Oh, it sounds like there's a mystery. Mulder, get in there. I broke the law. I murdered about 15 people in a gym, and they were like, no. You, I, I did it with a Zumba class. I was a Zumba instructor. And I just got really crazy with the hip moves and people just literally threw their bodies in half and we couldn't figure out what belonged to what and so they all kind of bled to death. Which law? I mean the law. It's the name of a machine. It's a gym machine. It was really expensive and the government sued me. That was pretty good too. The government sued you for breaking the law. Not legislation, but an exercise machine which they owned. Sure. And because you broke it, you banned you for life. Well, it couldn't be fixed, you see. How did you break it? I lifted too hard too fast. My lats, the weights just went straight to the top of the machine. Right, you broke the law by lifting too hard. That's correct. Mm. Well, you we just go for a run with our dogs then, unless you're banned from the outdoors as well. No, of course not. All right, I should get back to work. These books won't put them on themselves on their shelves. <sighs> I hate this guy. It was nice to meet you, Poopy. I never told you my name. Oh, yeah, but I recognize you from Woofer. Basically, there's like five people in this town I can bed. Because I went through the rest of them, and they all hate me. I'll see you around. Bye. Before I could say anything, Felix ducked. Wow. The door swings comically behind him. Because they have a two-way door in a library, because it's funny. I cannot tell if that went well. well. I'm definitely not here for books. I mean, who reads? <laughs> I'm so lovable. I hate him. All right. Well, we have plenty. Astrid... Let's do Astrid. I'm really most excited about Maribel. Oh, this is her. Oh, I'm actually excited. Oh, a craft market. I step from the streets into a broad cobbled square. Wow, look at this. Scented candles. Fortune favors no one. All this just a few blocks from my apartment. I'll never have money. What space is left between the stalls seems to largely be filled out by people slowly drifting around the square. Everyone seems content to take their life. Time. Okay, budge, budge, budge. Let's call for gourmet, last call for gourmet bully sticks. Only one left until we can make more next week. Hey, hottie. If your dog likes to chew, you should choose uh, this treat. <laughs> chew treat, huh? How does that sound, cheese balls? All right, let's get you your first bully stick. That's a dick of a bull. It's true. It's true. I wonder where it comes from. Hello there, youngin. Care to t treat your little pupper there to a gourmet bully stick? They're 100% organic, handcrafted, bespoke, non-GMO, gluten-free, ketogenic, meaty chews for your special little friend. That sounds right, exactly right. What is a bully stick? Uh, you know. It's a stick of a particular cut of meat. What, like steak? Not quite. You're better not knowing. <laughs> uh oh, 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 oh. A comically short woman with a high ponytail and slightly upturned nose stands behind me. She also does a triple flip. <laughs> oh, an exquisitely groomed dog with impossibly thick white fur. It holds its mouth over the handle of a, pa a paper bag, and it also wears a tumbler. Dude, oh my god, 2010 called. 2010 called, and they want everything back. Okay. 
just one of many people in the crowd overhearing your conversation, and the owner of one very cheese ha chew happy Sammy who would love a fresh belly stick, <laughs> if you don't mind. Uh, sure, I wasn't that invested. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> The small woman reaches past me to pay for that bully stick, and the shopkeeper wraps it up in wax paper and ties it with a big ball ribbon. It's a dick. I shop here pretty regularly. It's the best place in town if you want to support local creators. Plus, I've been cutting down on plastics, including dog toys. No! No! We aren't going to save the environment without making some inconvenient choices, right? Like trading in my plastic pants and stuff. Fillers, getting rid of fillers. A lot of us can do better. Like... I really shouldn't have these mink eyelashes, but I just can't help it. Uh, yeah, I guess I really never thought too hard about it. Oh, we have one of the voice actors! Um, and the game artist, Caddy, hanging out with some chess. You guys, this is a very fun game. Thank you so much for being here. I have to pick up a shit. Maybe it's time to start. Every choice you make affects something else in the world. It's like the butterfly effect. I'm Astrid Brooks, figure skater. Oh! Guys, I thought she was a fortune teller who dressed like that. I seriously did. I'm Astrid Brooks. I'm a figure skater. We're from the dev team. Oh, it's a really fun game, you guys. It's really weird, but very funny. I'm very, I'm really having a good time. Audience, they all like cheese ball the best, FYI. Astrid extends a her a hand which I cautiously shake. His grip is, her grip is surprisingly firm and her shake is firmer yet. I grasp my hand in horror. She's crushed me. She's crushed me. I'm poopy. I just moved here. I'm a photographer of sort of. I'm a woman, so I denigrate my abilities a lot. <laughs> to be liked and not threaten men. Hi. <laughs> oh. Sort of? What does that mean? Well, I'm just sort of a hobbyist right now. I hopefully pick up some gigs, but only I've just moved here. You need more conviction. You are a photographer and you will pick up gigs. Oh, I'm kind of liking Astrid. I like your optimism. <laughs> It's not optimism, it's determination. Everything in life is what you put into it, you know? Anyway, you should come and see Laika and I practice sometime. Or at the skating rink most days. Hi. I do that with... I, I have all my dates, potential dates, come and watch me work. My thighs are so clenching the whole time. Just imagine me. Underneath you or on top of you. Bye. <laughs> I have to go and get ready for practice now. Bye and thank you for the bully stick, which is a... It's a bull dick. And really, don't look up what it's made of. It's a bull dick. I've got to go. Bye. Um, I don't like her. I know. Everybody wants me to be centered. Ugh. Okay, here. I've been over here, right? Is this bothering everybody? Ugh. Okay. I need a bigger... I need to just have a bigger frame. So that if I'm going over here... <sighs> Astrid is totally a top. Okay. I might have to look around. Okay, let's come on, cheese balls. All right. I wish... Now, there's no way to move the can... Okay, so this is it. Oh, this is it. Okay, I think she's really pretty, you guys. It says she's at a local cafe. Let's go get a pepperoncino cheese balls. I'm unemployed and stalking people around this app. This is great. I'm convinced they should have had you voice this game. I know. I love doing voices. Unfortunately, a lot of the smaller indie games are non-union, so it's just not possible for them to afford to sign up to be a union um, uh, signatory. It's just a real pain. We tried it with Legend of Grimrock, actually. Or not Legend of Grimrock, but... Another one of the games that I had played and they wanted me to do a big voice in, it was just too onerous for them um, financially. Um, so I love my union. I have to support my union, but it's all right. I can enjoy these. It took a little while, but I eventually found the cafe. The shop front is modest, barely distinguishable, only a small sign. It says, cool story, brew. I like it. The queue almost reaches around the block. A mix of people. Hey, 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 cheese balls. No, no, no. Just as I take another step door, the, a piercing sound splits through the air. I can hardly tell where it's coming from or what it's like. Oh, big fart! Or five squeaky toys. Five very loud squeaky toys. Cheese balls is not Here, pleased gravy. about the noise. Gravy! Oh my god, gravy's such a cute name. Hey, gravy. Hey, your biceps look like they could hold me so close. Hi. Oriko, thank you for the sub. Uh, okay. 300 pats to go. Is there another 300 pat? I will do it. If I get... Don't stop rubbing <laughs> until you see the smoke. 
She's really pretty. Gravy! Here, Gravy, good girl. The buff woman, having stepped away from the counter, quickly hops toward the curb and bends over. She scoops up a Pomeranian with a hat! Oh my god! In a backpack! Oh, okay. This so many poops. So many poops. Good bird. It's really tiny. Yip, yip, yip. Hey there. I see you met Gravy. Sorry about the barking. She's just a little shy. Um, I'm sorry. Her name is Gravy? Oh yeah, but that's just a nickname. It's short for Grave Digger. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. I take her my pets very seriously. Why does it have to be a Pomeranian? What's wrong with a Pomeranian? They're really dumb, right? I want a smart dog. Just go. I will not have a dog who pees on the floor. That's it. Grave digger. Of course, doesn't she look like a grave digger, you? Huh? Gravy yaps in agreement, then smiles broadly, her small tongue out and proud. Doesn't she get hot in there? <laughs> nope. Check this out. This is the Pupcak 3000. Wow! Organic pheromone diffuser. This bad boy is the latest and greatest in pup accessories and is a perfect mobile home for the bestest of girls. God, you're so hot. I really like her, guys. I have a palm named Jack. He's a little monster, but too cute. I know. Is it a tiny construction hat? What about this little doggo? The woman squats down impressively fast and holds it. Wow. So two out of, I'd say all the women in this game have a lot of thigh strength, right? One of them is a, a figure skater. One of them is clearly like a spin class instructor or something. And then the nurse, you know she does squats, okay? Just on people. Oh, wow. What a cute little cutie. This is cheese balls. I just got her recently. Does she make you want to date me? Does she? Well, it's very lovely to meet you, cheese balls. Yes, it is. You must be new to this town if you're a recent adopter. Because everyone's required to adopt a dog to have intercourse here. What brought you out to Rainbow Bay? Um... You know life, nothing to do with a mystical dog wizard or not anything. Dog wizard? No, nope, nothing. <laughs> I was so intrigued. Oh my god, I really like her. Anyway, I should get going. I have to go get gravy to daycare before my next meeting. See you around sometime. The author! Did I get oh Rock Prod, thank you so much. Did I miss a did I miss a raid? Rock oh, Rock Prod, thank you so much for the subs. Thank you for the emotes. My goodness. Anyway, I should really get going. Thick thighs save lives, that's right. All the criticism of Anders is valid and fair. Ugh, sh we didn't even meet, you guys. Gravy looks pretty comfy up there, doesn't she, cheese balls? Well, maybe if I got a, uh, maybe if I, maybe if I got some kind of gainful employment, um, I'd be able to buy you anything. Now you just have to eat dirt. Barely 30 seconds pass before I say the same woman veering around the corner and po powering toward me again. I've seen you before. What? Oh my god. America's Most Wanted? <sighs> I just remembered on Woofer, right? We got matched. Oh, yeah, I didn't think you recognized me. I've only been just stalking everybody who matched me today. Hey, I'm Maribel, urban planner and Pomeranian lover. Oh, I really like you, Maribel. Uh-oh, it's going to be a strong handshake again. It's distressingly sweaty. Oh! Oh, she's a sweater. Ooh! Guys, I don't know about that. Guys. Oh, she's a... She's... Got a lot of love juice. I don't know. Ruined. I guess she broke a sweat sprinting back here, or she's just a natural sweater. It's really hot. She's wearing not a lot of clothing. Is it a pantsuit? <laughs> well, it's lovely meeting you. We should meet again. Let's get to know each other a little better. I swear I'm not always in this much of a rush. <laughs> Let's exchange Gotta emails. Of course, I'll be done in touch. No, I will not. Thanks for a fun game. I work in post production and TV. Oh, yeah. This is, so Mac is the way it's going to be for me. Yes, well, editor, thank you. I, I remember you from last time. Um, okay, guys, she, it looks like a, a, re a receipt for one protein bar for $10. Oh, no. Okay, so first of all, Vampire would not like this chick. She's eating protein bars. He would make her an artisan, artisanal hazelnut spread, uh, homemade bread kind of thing. I don't know. She seems like a whirlwind of fun, huh, cheese balls? I like her to bench press me. I crouch down to pet cheese balls, suddenly wiping my sweat covered palms onto her fur. Whoa! Oof! No. Guys, I, I, it's a no. I'm curious to see the negative side of each person. Well, we know that Vampire is a food snob. We know. I don't know the negative of other people. Yeah, right. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh.
It's been a busy day. Thank you, Darian at Adventurer. Phew, it's been a busy day. We've been all over the city, but there's so much left to explore. I love this is Rainbow Island. For now, I think it's time to rest our weary feet and Paul's. Hey, no, 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 no. Looks like something would be ready for naps when we get home. The arts district seems like it's starting to wind down for the day. It's 2 p.m. A few cafes are closing up. There's less hustle and bustle. Still, some of the residents are lounging outside bars. Others are simply drifting through life, transient but in no hurry at all, just waiting for their imminent doom and death. Hey, 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 no, no. Huh? I whip my head around to see cheese balls rooted in place outside a shop front, staring in, standing alert. What is it, cheese balls? I read a sign. Fox's Taverns and Bar. Do you smell someone ovulating, cheese ball? Do you want me to get in there? No, 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 no. You want to go in? All right, let's do it. I guess that's a yes. Somebody needs a sex on the beach. I have no idea what I'm about to discover, but I have a feeling it's not going to be like anything from New York. She senses death. <laughs> it's true. As I pull the do door open, lights... Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, this is not... It's almost uncomfortably hot in here. I don't think there's a single window opening. Uh, I'm not sure they're open, cheese balls. Cheese balls shuffle forward like a bloodhound. Whoa! I follow them in here, which is nearly a, a, neither a tavern nor in a bar. Whoa! Chinchillas, cheese fogs, hedgehogs. Beyond that, there's an assortment of hamsters, fish, lizards, and a snake! Ew! Uh, it's okay, cheese ball. It's behind the glass. Maybe I'm okay after all. Uh, May, man, what is this Welcome. place? Oh. Oh. She's really pretty. It's a weed shop, clearly. Obvi. Ugh! Why is everything in the shop trying to give me a heart attack? An impish woman, wrapped tightly in more layers than I could fathom. She has two small birds. Oh, I kind of love her. Calm down, calm ya. Great, welcome to Fox's Tavern and Bar. A cornucopia of obscure pets and pet accessories. Oh, come here. Come here. Stop digging. Oh, this is a pet shop I thought everyone adopted from the clinic here. That's right, I mostly sell exotic animals. So you don't sell dogs? No, you should adopt a dog. My, buy one. Testify! Good night! Oh yeah, I'm not looking for one. I was just wondering, how much bird poop do you have in your hair? Like, a pound or two pounds? Cheese ball doesn't want a new friend? Hey, how did you... You said her name in just a moment ago, Poopy. I know things. I know things. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting ready to close the shop for the day. Is there anything specific I can help you with? Um, why is it so dark in here? Do you know that there are birds? Why is it so dark in here? So they're awake in the daytime? Who? Them. The animals. Everyone in this part of the store is nocturnal. Well, not everyone. Hi. <laughs> oh, 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 hey! You don't count. Oh, I don't? Are you attracted to me? How many layers are you wearing? Like... This other girl was wearing literally a low cut, like, sweat. And then, like, you're wearing, f you're, it's literally the dead of winter. Ouch. Um, this is neither a tavern nor a bar. This is my opener here. And that's not a question. Touche, Fox. Touche. I don't like her. But to answer the question you didn't actually ask, it's a tavern and a bar for animals. They come here and stay with me. I feed them. I listen to their woes. I tend to their aching hearts. Like cheese ball. Here. She really misses her uterus. Tell me how that doesn't sound like a tavern and or bar. Oh, uh, okay. Um, do you offer that same service to humans? No. no. Oh, pity. Does anyone actually buy exotic pets? Or are these just all your pets? Ugh. What do you mean? I mean, this is the world's most dog-friendly city, right? Why would anyone be here buy a chinchilla? <laughs> Maybe they like chinchillas. I suppose. I'm. This is going really well. I also sell designer pet accessories. Oh, like leashes? Some leashes, yes. I'll hang one around your neck if you don't get the hell out of here. Can I see them? Huh. Not yet. I have a chin holder. <laughs> she's got... Guys, she's got one of those, like, 2000... You know, like, 2011 scarves. She's got a 2019 scarf. And then she has, like, her whole hair, which is another scarf. And then this? Is that the turtleneck? What's going on here? Do you know there are birds on your shoulders? <laughs> Do you think I wouldn't be aware of that? Stupid. Okay, Fox, everything she says, stupid is on the end of it. The colorful one is Melanie, and the goth one is Phoebe. Stupid. They're lovebirds. 
Stupid. Oh, they're together? I mean, they're literal lovebirds. Stupid. But also, yes, they're together, stupid. Cute. Hold up, do I recognize you? I've seen you somewhere before. Oh no, is this a pickup line, stupid? No, no, I swear there's just something so familiar about you. I don't recognize you. Sorry, stupid. Oh wow, 40 ml, thank you for the gift sub. I feel like maybe I saw you online? It's a small city, you probably just saw me on the street, stupid. Wait, your voice! Oh no, stupid. You're that animal expert, Fox Ainsworth. You were on the radio when I was on the bus. Your parents are Steph and Terry Ainsworth, the zookeepers, right? You dated a guy for four years named Trevor, but because he accidentally sat on a tree frog you had, you basically cut off his leg and then you had to go to jail for three years and then you're out now and basically your dad bought you this place because you're unemployable everywhere else. I really did stalk you after that. Yeah. You caught me, stupid. Fox Ainsworth, Rainbow Bay's local wildlife expert and bird law prodigy, stupid. And yes, they are my parents. Next question, stupid. Oh, I don't think I have any more questions. <laughs> Great, stupid. Feel free to come by if you ever need something, but for now, I'd really like to go home, stupid. All right, sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. I just followed cheese balls. Cheese balls must have some pretty good taste. Look after each other. I can tell she's a special one. Stupid. Yes, ma'am. But seriously, leave, stupid. Right. Wow. Guys, I think that's all the people we can date. Boy, there are some yummies. There's some yummies. We packed some really cool people. Let's say we all invite them over once we've unpacked. Gross, don't lick me. There. Uh, I'll take that as a yes, though. Let's give it a few weeks, and then we'll send out some invites. But first, we should do a training session. Are you ready? Okay, great. So she is... Hmm. She needs some hygiene. So we definitely... But I think hygiene, we take care of her. So that's not over here. So what we need is, I would really like her trust level to be higher and her sociability level. So we're gonna do doggy daycare. We're gonna do some snack time. And her fitness level is not great right now. So we're gonna go fitness and manners. And then maybe, um, does she need energy? She does not need energy. Um, hmm. Uh, trust and manners so let's do some social media modeling let's do it okay let's run that week oh her smarts increased great look at that oh we are s whoa what happened wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute oh okay great wait 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 what happened here i think i messed something up y'all okay she's starving to that i don't know what happened i bye shelton oh i gained a level oh that's great Level two. Okay, so obviously we need to feed the heck out of this doggy. So shake out enough. Okay. Here you go. Here you go. Eat it all. Good job. Oh, still hungry. Still hungry. Let's get some. Um, oh, boy. She needs some energy, huh? Let's see. We need to tend to her. She needs a little nappy. Uh... And minus energy? <sighs> Clean cheese balls ears. Yeah, we should probably do that. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. Left ear. Hey, I'm doing it. Okay. Woof, that was close. Needs a bath. I know. You could do only do three things. So, um, I think I need to feed her again because... Um, I'll just do this one. I did it. Eat, eat, eat. There you go. I hand feed everything to my doggy. There we go. Oh, parched. <gasps> oh, no, parched. My dog hates it when I try to clean his paws. Oh, boy. Week three. You guys, who am I going to bed? Oh, 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 we have. Okay, this is great. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is, this is actually a really fun game. Okay. Um, encounter with Anders. Yes. Encounter with Robin. Mm. Sasha. No. Maribel. Mm. Astrid. I'm kind of intrigued about Astrid, you guys. No. Felix, go to hell. Possinal time. Okay, so I think I'm really good on manners. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do encounters with everyone. I'm going to go with Astrid first. I'm going to go see her. She got three stars. Oh, wait, no. 
<laughs> South Shore Street got three stars. The South Shore Promenade is more or less empty. Most of working people, most of the working people in Rainbow Bay stuck to their offices. Uh-oh. Oh, look at this. She's singing super loud. I cannot do that. No. No, this woman is too outgoing for me. I can't do it. The dog days are... Huh? Spotted. Astrid pulls her earbuds from her. No, she's that kind of girl who's who wears not very much clothing. Um, I mean, I know she's going. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Poopy, not usually a lot of people along the promenade this time of day. You, how long have you been standing there? Um, I love that song. I love that song you were singing. I love it when people sing really loud in public for no reason. You heard that? I can usually sing better than that. It's just hard to sing when you're running. You were great. Besides, you look like you were having fun, and that's worth a lot. Big fart. That's very nice of you to say. Maybe we can do karaoke sometime. Oh my god. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Felix, Sasha, Maribel. Okay, no, we've got to go with Anders, okay? And I know the date takes three, so but we have to have Anders. Oh my god, he's going to sing to me. I spot Anders sitting at the bar, nursing one of those tiny espresso cups, of course. Man, what? Who drinks actual short black espressos? What? Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'd recognize that barking anywhere. How are you this fine afternoon, cheese balls? Oh. Anders looks up at me as I pull a stool. Did a big fart. Would you? You come here often? Oh, I love that opener. He's so original. I'm still new here. I don't really go anywhere often yet. What about you? I didn't think karaoke would be your jam. Uh, they don't make braille karaoke, no, but I have a few favorites I know by heart. Like Banjo Vie's Lizard on a Chair. But honestly, I preferred coming here when it's quiet. I mean, what do you think about karaoke? Um, uh, it's fun for everyone. <laughs> Who doesn't love karaoke? It doesn't matter how well you sing, it's all about having shameless fun. That's a nice way to look at it. I like that. I've got stars around my eyes. What are we feeding cheese balls? Um... I'll try that approach next time Robin gets the microphone. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> Robin's awful. Uh, Andrew seems to appreciate my outlook. Okay. Can I go to your house, please? Oh! Oh my god! <sighs> Guys. Should we, like, encounter people a little bit more? I feel like we can encounter three people now. Let's just do another encounter with three people, okay? And then we'll, then we'll go on a date. You guys, I can't... No, I'm going to encounter. Okay, I've got her wearing a hard hat, and she seems to love it. I guess it helps. That's kind of a necessity. You know, I don't think a hard hat would effectively prote protect a Pomeranian on a construction site. Unless it was over her entire body. <laughs> Hi. Uh, it's, is this interrupting you guys? I just... I saw you guys on the app, and just... Hey, that would be so cute. Maribel loves it. Oh, a little hard hat running around with Pomeranian feet. I'm looking for someone to dress gravy up at a formal event, though. Don't suppose you have any ideas? Um... I think a princess tiara would be really cute. Well, Rainbow Bay's most regal princess pupper deserves a crown befitting her station. No Felix? Okay, we'll say no to Felix. We're just going to dump Felix. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. I do stock a range of di different size crowns. The sizing is all in lizard sizes, though. Stupid. Oh, do you have a lizard to a dog size conversion chart? <laughs> in, the pa in the post, I'm afraid. Stupid. Well, I guess we could just try different crowns until the right one works. Cue the makeover montage music. I love her. Gravy's pretty small. A lizard crown is better than no crown, I guess. <laughs> that was an encounter. Oh, we eliminated the date. We will do a date next time. We promise Felix gets better. Really? Okay. I'm not doing any possible. I don't really... D I feel like Sasha doesn't go my way, but maybe? You know what I'm saying? Let's encounter Robin. I feel like we didn't really get... And she's in the arts district, and she's really hot. Again. Robin, something wrong? Oh, pudgy pudgy. Hey, Poopy. I had to stop and grab something on the way to work. I was only away from my car for three minutes, fives max. And the stupid parking warden strung me for stopping by a fire hydrant. Hey, 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 no, no. Um, well, you know what? If I do that one, we're definitely not getting laid. Uh, we should go track him down and kill him. 
Maybe still around here. We could contest a ticket or that. Hey, I appreciate your readiness to help. Unfortunately, I know I'm in the wrong here. It just means I'll have to pick up some more hours to cover the cost. Ugh. I can hardly wait. Mm. Places to be? Life to I'll see you around, though. Thanks for the sympathizing. Well, at least she appreciated the offer. Oh, uh, uh. There's apparently higher than 100 pack combos. They won't disclose the highest amount, though. Oh, we can get there. Okay. Um, well, we have one more. Felix or Sasha, y'all? I'm going Felix because I feel like we can make this work. Felix. All right, well, it seems like it was just a false alarm. That's a relief. Yeah, if Mulder ate any chocolate, it wasn't enough to do more than, well, you have a nose. The diarrhea speaks for itself. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Cheese balls licks poopy. Aw, I wish I could say I wasn't used to it. Gee, is that what that smell is? It's really shitty. I mean, uh, it smells gross. Is that your dog? It's really fine. <laughs> Ooh, hey, Poopy, I won't be much longer. Thanks for your help, Jade. I'll make sure not to leave chocolate out again. That's for the best. Sorry, ruined your matcha cheesecake chocolate. Or matcha cheesecake chocolate. It's fine. I don't really need it. I did. I needed it for my sorrow. Because I'm single. Ooh, matcha. I'm more of a fan of... Um, uh, I'm a big fan of nuts. Yeah, I like- I hear you like when the nuts are toasted, you get the nut oil to coat your mouth. How about you, Jay? Do you like... nuts? <sighs> she does really get- what a- Oh no! Oh no, no! Okay, I bet it's a thousand. Okay- oh, whoa! What happened? Okay, so level two. Boy, so we need to level. I did not know we were leveling, you guys. Oh, boy. We need smarts and fitness. Smarts and fitness. Do we have a smarts and fitness combo? Do we have a smarts and fitness? Smarts and fitness is blue. We do not have a smarts and fitness. Okay, so... Smarts and fitness. Um... I want to get the smarts up. Okay. Great. Cheese balls convinced a local surfer to let her hang ten. That's nice. Cheese balls tried to weave between your legs while running, but otherwise kept a pace. Cheese balls played dead was a little too convincing. Cheese balls went to town on her puppercino. I'm always there. Cheese ball didn't want to remove her jacket after the very first outfit. Ooh! Work in the runway. Level two. Yay, yay, yay! Okay, so we need to satiate and hydrate. We're gonna definitely doing that. Okay, here we go. Small Fry, thank you so much for being here. This is, start the weekend off right, you guys. Okay, so, hmm. We're gonna hydrate you because I don't like the fact that you, I don't like the way that you don't have that. Here you go, Bubby. Drink, drink, drink. Oh, that's good. Oh, stanky. Stanky. Okay, we need some hygiene. Um, how's your mood? Blow dry, cheat. I'm gonna just. Oh. I'm gonna hide your. Oh, I'm gonna. Ha 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 ha. Why are you still dirty in the face area? Give her the hose. <laughs> All right. Week four, guys. We have to finish playing this. So uh, on Sunday, I'll be playing Fall Guys in this game. Okay. I mean, listen, we have to complete some things. Week 4 out of 15, we can do this. We have an hour, another hour, we'll get halfway through. Okay. Uh, first date with Robin, first date with Astrid, first date with Felix? Where is... No! Anders, date me! Anders. <laughs> oh, hey, poopy. Hemingway and I are just back, back from the office. You should stop by sometime. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. Actually, why I have you. I was thinking of taking him anyway to do something special for his birthday. I don't suppose you have any ideas. Um, steak dinner because you are such a good cook. <laughs> I know cheese balls would be happy with some fancy treats. Why not go one step further? We'll cook up a steak. That's it. He's in love. He's in love. Lisa Bonet is in love. Oh my god, Liam Bonet. I love it. This is pretty fun. Is it on Steam? Yes, it is on Steam. Um, that's it. Okay, a ribeye, medium rare with peppercorn, bernays, and broccoli. 
We're in, boys. We got this. Wait, can dogs eat Bernays? That's a good point. I'll do a little research, but needless to say, I'm excited to cook for my best boy. I like how everyone calls their babies their best boys and girls, you know? Okay. Anders is a lot more excited than I expected. All right. Okay, great. Now we can do one more encounter and a date. I want to do a date with a lot of people. Okay, another encounter. I'm going to I'm going to let Sasha go. I think I'm going to let Robin go. I don't know if we're really getting I don't know Astrid. Let's do a date. God damn it. I want I want my baby. I want Liam Benet. I want oh God. Okay. Let's do a date with Astrid and, and see. Let's do a date with that. Robin is really pretty. All right. Date Astrid. Date Astrid. Let's do it. I'm going to go see her perform. Seems like Astrid seems like the type who's one who's really usually busy. But she did invite me to practice down the skating rink. I guess I'll see if that's in the cards. Hey, Astrid. What are you up to? Um, hey, Astrid. What are you up to today? Uh, done. Oh, gee, how do you write this? Come on. Uh, I'm a super spreader. So many dates. I know. Um, hey, Astrid, what are you up this week? I wonder if you were free to hang out. Maybe show me your skating routine. Did you get dinner? Yeah, just perform for me. Like, do something for me. Like, no, I didn't mean that. It's fine. Um, oh, boy. Uh, or not forward enough. Ugh, I know. Okay, guys, I figured out what's wrong with my camera. Here is in front of the lens. Here is not in front of the lens. I've cropped the... I've cropped my camera to be off center so that instinctively I'm going right in front of the lens, but I don't need to do that because I can't. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Okay, I'll just send it and I have to wait for response. 10 minutes dragged on for days, I guess death. Oh, she replied. Oh my God, here she is. Oh, ah, ah. Uh, vocal warm ups. Oh, she said yes, great. Icebreaker skate rink looks kind of ominous once the sun sets. She's gonna murder me on the, on the ice. She's gonna go turn your harding on me. Tea gal! You could probably cram a thousand people in here. It doesn't exactly look open. The lights in the reception are out and there's nary a soul to be seen. As I shuffle forward, the sound of metal scraping through the ice proves that there it isn't completely empty. Unless it's ghosts. Oh god, okay. I'm taking it off the braid. But it's not ghosts. It's... I'm on a date, you guys. Astrid is in the rink, Glidus lean on the edge. She skates across, her bow furrowed in concentration. I saw her bite her lip. Determination is folded. I don't care. She's, she doesn't stick the landing. With a graceless thud, Astrid hits the ice, her skates slipping out from under her. She catches the ground, arms pressed forward to keep her head from hitting the ice. Ooh, Awkward! In that moment, a, slash, a flash of white bolts out of uh, edge or either edge. Arr, arr, arr. Big fart. Big fart. Bye, Marlea. The braid was so pretty. I know. I don't know why I did it. Here we go. I let cheese balls drag me, me over to Laika, whose front paws are pressed against the rink's barrier. The Samoyed barely acknowledges cheese balls as she approaches, her eyes fixed on Astrid. Astrid had since pulled her up from the sit on the chewed ice, somehow not seeing to mind that her bare legs were touching the ice. She's cold. Hi, noob kids. Issa Bellic, welcome. Bye, Marlea. I already said that. She tilts her eyes back, pointed. Her chest heaves with a deep sigh. She's Paul's eyes. I'm staying silent. She, she's an athlete. She knows. Astrid doesn't seem hurt, but the energy on the ice is cold. I step back and take a seat on the bleachers, content to just wait until she wants to talk. Oh, there's an unsteadiness in her movements now. She climbs to her feet and turns toward us. I guess she hasn't realized I was here, despite Cheese Ball's excitement. Oh, crap! Uh, her balance tips slightly alarmed, but she was able to slide toward the barrier and catch herself. Oh, look at her! She can't even. Her inner ear goes crazy when she sees me, guys. She's cold as ice, willing to sacrifice our dogs. The love is low lover. I don't know the worst of the words. Let me just go and shower. Oh my god. All clean. I'm clean upstairs and down. Feeling better? <laughs> Much? Uh-uh! Don't dig to hell! Come on! As Astrid and Lyka returned. Someone's happy to see you. Hey, girl. I extend a hand to her and she sniffs it saltly. Okay, she likes us. Who's a beautiful girl? 
I think you've made someone jealous, Laika. <laughs> Tries to push her head in my lap. It's okay, would you put it? Laika's all too happy to accept this as an invitation to play, whether that or not that was a cheese ball's intention. She thwaps cheese balls on the butt. Oh, doing a poop right now. Bye bye. Cheese balls rise to the stick, and the two of them are chasing each other. They love each other. Oh my god. Cheese balls is totally bored. I only like the episode that Felicia was in. What? Of what? Happy birthday, Isabel. Well, they certainly, certainly seem to get in along. Like his tummy up with cheese balls, his face squished in the fur of her mane. Oh, they love each other, you guys. I'm glad they like each other. I like you. <laughs> like likes everyone. She's a heart of gold and a trail of white. Okay. Seems like a small price to pay. Definitely. Ready to go? Uh, go where exactly? You'll see. I don't. She is not my type. I did this for you guys. My brother says stop molesting my ears. Cherubes, I'm sorry. I... Uh-oh. Two things surprised me. It's the only set where anyone goes to do... <laughs> it's a karaoke bar. Second of all, Mary... <gasps> no! 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 Damn it! Damn it! Oh my god, the drama. This is not what I wanted to happen. Oh, bridge burned. Hey, Astrid, over here. <sighs> Waving us over. Yep. Oh, this is awful. I got you both drinks already on me. Wait, is this a three-way? Oh, you were expecting us? Ha, huh, God. Of course, Astrid didn't tell you she was bringing you to karaoke tonight. I couldn't have you pulling out. <laughs> That'll be later. <laughs> hey, phrasing. Oh! Mer <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I hope you like gin and tonic because that's what I ordered. Also, it's the cheapest thing on the menu. <laughs> Meow. Astrid, you know I only order top shelf stuff. Sure, but for both of us? Of course. I have no idea how you afford this stuff. <laughs> I will thruple this, okay? Never you worry your sweet little head about that princess. Yes, Maribel, yes. I chipped in. Oh, look who's here. Ugh! Fox, true to nature, appears behind me with a short glass of green alcohol clutched in one hand and a mic in the other. Wow! Oh, you're already here. I got here first, stupid. You all hang out together? <laughs> Welcome to Rainbow Bay's Karaoke Coven, poopy. Stop trying to make that name happen, Fox. I think someone woke, on this, woke up on the wrong- Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Hey, no. Don't ask. It's a triple axle. I can't land it. You're beating yourself over perhaps the single hardest moving in skating. You make it seem so trivial. I'm just saying you shouldn't dwell. We're not here to mope. We're here to sing, stupid. <laughs> and drink. Ugh. I love her. Take me in your arms, Maribel. Her body. Oh, Maribel, Fox and I meet here every week for drinks and karaoke. The owners know us pretty well by now, so we get discounts. Hope you warmed up your voice. Uh, get ready for some... Aural pleasure. You better get seated because I'm ready to drop some throat explosions up here. Oh. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm just happy to sing. <laughs> you get to be an honorary member of our troop tonight. We usually do a song or two each and then sing one together. You don't have to join in for that, though. Uh -huh. No, I would love to do a group thing with you. Hey, stop offering easy way out. She needs to sing with us if she wants to be one of us, stupid. One of us! One of us! <laughs> All right, calm down, you two. Who's singing first? Um, we started without you. Fox just wrapped up a beautiful cover of Laura Del Eyes, Young oh. and Attractive. What? That's a terrible song for karaoke, Fox. It's so slow. Not the way I sing it. Stupid. Well, I for one think you should go next, Astrid. I think another drink before I whip out my cover of Charcoal Procession. These song names are crazy. I just got here, though. Oh, Come on, show Poopy what you've got. Uh -oh. I guess I've got a number in mind. Oh. After, she skipped over there. I will never date her again. Never. Ugh. The view of the stage is perfect. Cheese balls curls up into a ball at my feet. Feel clearly dumb for the day. As the bass line starts, Astrid's begin to tap her foot, her hips swinging. Here she goes. Queen of theatrics. Stupid. Astrid sings the first verse, only looking over her shoulder between the lines, moving her hips with a rhythm. Oh, no. She's marching the aisles? Oh, this is so cringe, you guys. Cringe. This is, this is the love of Rocket Soup. This is your Haley. Play this game and please take Astrid. She's the only woman for you. Come on. Queen of Moons, I didn't know you streamed. Well, welcome, Professor Scam. I do, indeed. She's certainly above the karaoke <laughs> standard. So, you and Astrid, huh? No. We're just hanging out. No. 
Or would you like to do more than just hang out? Uh, I'm not looking for anything serious. Just spending time with her. I'm not really considering anything long term. Hey, Victor. Uh, that could work. I'm not so sure, stupid. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, you know, Astra's got a lot to focus on. Exactly. I don't think she needs frivolous distractions. But heaven knows she needs to have more fun. <laughs> All right, Poopy. That's question number one. Now tell us. <laughs> What's the wildest thing you've done that involves ferrets? Um. Um. So I'm, that's an invitation. Sometimes I leave my front door unlocked on purpose just to feel the rush. What? Whoa. Oh. That's just dangerous. Oh, no! No! Oh, my God. I'm blowing it with Maribel. I'm blowing it, you guys. Oh, God. Idiots. Do you have a head? Idiots? Do you have a habit of making irresponsible choices? Hey, I thought it made me seem so cool. Well, that's definitely wild. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure you're quite up to the same standard as Rainbow Bay's own nastiest girl. Mari. Oh, oh relax, on. Fox. Astrid needs to be more open about her extracurriculars. Seriously, Maribel? Oh my god. Astrid- Oh! And she doesn't look pleased. Would it kill you to mind your own business for once in your life? Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god, what is going on? Uh-oh. Great. Me and my mouth. I, I want to learn more about your mouth. Should I go after her? No. no, but she should. Me? Astrid doesn't really react well in the hit of the moment. She'll need time before she's ready to see Maribel again. Okay, well, I didn't even want to date her. The chat made me. Ugh! I guess I better go quickly if I want to catch up. I hope she hasn't gone too far. She says under her breath. Hopefully, Astrid is nowhere to be seen. I guess my options are go back and face the terrible two again or take a guess and keep walking. If only she'd left a trick. Oh. I find breadcrumbs of a sort. A few tufts of white fur on the sidewalk. Okay, we got it. Thank you, Laika. Just date the cute dude with the nose ring instead. I know! Oh. Hey, Iceman, come on, man. Get in here on time. I hear heavy footsteps. Astrid is sprinting back and forth. Oh boy. She is very determined, and I don't like watching people work out. It just reminds me of me not working out. Astrid counts it quits and flops backwards. Blowing off steam, getting some sand in your undies. It helps me think. What are you thinking about? Now, honestly, not a lot. How about ten minutes ago? Don't ask. Doesn't matter. Oh. Astrid seems calm. The stars are bright tonight. I glance up. She's right. She has good eyesight. Whoa, that one right there. I don't want to look at the stars with her. I want to look at the stars with Li Liam Bonet. This game has so much drama. That's Jupiter. That's not a star, stupid. <laughs> no, it's important. Jum Jupiter symbolizes strength of expansion. Are you a Sagittarius? No, I'm a Cancer. Right, well, during Sagittarius season, Jupiter gives us energy. It's all about open mindedness, adventure, and travel. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I fell asleep with your pseudoscience. Stupocidence. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a pretty cool planet. Seems like it does a lot for us. This is the longest date I thought. Oh. What about you? What's your sign? I'm a Scorpio sun. <laughs> cool. Gemini moon, Virgo rising. I won't get into it, but my Jupiter is in Sagittarius. I have a printout I can give you. It's 45 pages. You'll need to really know all my moon signs if you really want to get to know me. <sighs> Bo Huggable says, I'm enjoying the voice acting. You are kind of like a rapper, but dialogue in different voices. Thank you. I appreciate that. Guys, I'm a rapper. Huh? I didn't even know there was more than one sign. <laughs> I really like to read about this kind of stuff. It's really interesting to me. Like, it's really almost proved to be science. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I didn't have you pegged for an astrology nut. That's kind of funny. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's what Maribel says, too. She just loves to remind me what an enigma I am. It's exhausting. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was a soft spot. No, I'm sorry. Astrid shovels back. Oh my god, she just smells like some kind of floral soap. Okay, points for Astrid. She smells like floral sweat versus Maribel, who's just sweaty. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice Cheeseball and Laika starting to play again. I really wanted tonight to be fun. This probably all seems really petty. <sighs> she really just got to me this time. I get there. We... There were people back home who pushed all my buttons all the time. Do you miss them? Not really. Not enough to distract me from being here. That's a nice way to put it. A whisk, brisk wind. Her nipples pop out of everywhere. Oh. 
I think that's our cue. Come on, Laika. <laughs> she pulls it. She calls in a woo to pick her up. I think about doing the same. That wasn't really what I planned. Let me make it up to you sometime. Yeah, I'd like that. Call me. We stand for, in silence for a few awkward moments. See you later. I've gotta go. Never again. Bye. <laughs> what a night. Are you as tired as I am, cheese balls? Ugh. Oh God. Boo! I have a customer. I had to turn this out. <laughs> All right. Let's. Work on our leveling. We need more fitness. So let's do fitness. I love a well-mannered well dog. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Definitely not smart enough. We need more smarts. Sit and stay. And... Hmm. Are we... Hmm. Plus energy. I do not need more energy. She does not need more energy. I just want more smarts. Here we go. Run. All right. So we do this. We don't really need to look at this. We just need to. And then we need to tend to our. Oh no! <gasps> Poor little Bobby. Poor little Bobby. Feed, feed, feed. I'm glad that I don't have to like explain how how I pay for all this. There you go, Bubbles. I'm so sorry. Oh no. And you're sleepy. Uh oh. We need some energy, huh? We need more food though. I'm really worried about. Oh, and you're also stanky too. Um, hmm. I don't want to give you treats. That's what I don't need. Oh boy. Um, I think maybe we should do some energy. Minus energy? I need plus energy. Oh boy. I'm not gonna... Plus energy. I'm gonna clean your ears. Boo 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 boo. Okay. Okay, you really have to rub it up and down, y'all. Um, Jem Jemima, that's why I'm doing, um, daytime, day daytime stream. Next Friday, I won't be doing a daytime stream, but hopefully from now on, unless I have a job or something, this will be, if I have a job, I might name it, I mean, obviously, I would have to rearrange my Twitch channel, but I try to update the Twitch app, so if you go to my page and check chat schedule, also there's a Streamlabs thing with a countdown, I try to update, uh, up update those as I know my schedule. Always check the Discord because I always announce immediately if I have a change in my schedule. Discord.gg slash Felicia Day. I really appreciate you guys supporting and just enjoying being here. I'm glad. Okay, so I'm just going to... I mean, I feel like I need to feed her again. And we'll do this. We'll give you a chew bone. There you go. There you go. Joko, thank you so much for the sub. I'm not going to let go of it. I'm not going to let go of it. Aha! All right. Joko! Am I, stay am I staying in the middle a little bit better, you guys? My hair, I did wash it, but I didn't do anything to it, so it's like really, it's something. Where is my date? No, I'm not gonna waste any time on anybody I, oh, encounter. Where is my date? Oh! <gasps> okay, let's encounter him and have a date. Let's have the date first. Oh my God. <laughs> <gasps> Romaine Empire. Go see Ann. Oh, jump, jump. Guys, jump cut Joey. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Abundant Brigade. Oh my God. It's right. I have Henders card. I wonder if he wants to get a bite. We could get burgers. I'm not doing anything with anybody but Anders if I can help it. I mean, I'm going all Anders. I know that if you divide your forces, you don't end up with anybody. With luck, I'm about Do you have any plans tonight? With any luck, I'm about to. What did you have in mind? He's so sexy. Oh my god! Um, what's full of meat and perfectly encased in two pert tasty buns? My lavia. I'm listening. Burgers. Oh, ah. <laughs> Joey took uh, Joey Couture. Why are you Joey? Why are you jump cut Joey now? I can get a seats at Romaine Empire. Of course, he's not going to go to Mickey D's. All right. I'm sure you'll love the food. It's Angus sirloin, handmade cheese. You're oh no. Oh, I gotta move my camera. <laughs> Do I look like Anders? Hey, hey. How you like my body? <laughs> How you like my body? Uh, okay. We gotta move my camera a little bit. We gotta move my camera over so you can see Anders' face. This is probably, okay, you know what? Bottom left, we're gonna go bottom left. Bottom right. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Okay. No, don't. It's brilliant. Don't blow it. <laughs> He's so cute, though. All right. You're, you'll see. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Right over his junk. 
Okay, I have no idea what Andrews expects me to eat, but this is not a child-friendly stream. I'm sorry. Oh, Romaine Empire. Way to make a, sa a restaurant sound simultaneously healthy and threateningly imperialistic. Oh, God, I can't put my... I need to put my camera back up here because it, it actually was the best place for it. Okay. No, what is going on here, guys? Hmm. Okay, this... Just move! I have a... Okay, move. Here we go. I'm sorry, I have to move my camera back, you guys. All right. I wonder if they invade and conquer other restaurants or capture chefs to battle each other to the death. I changed my Twitch name for rebranding. A number of reasons led to it. I want to be more related to my video editing. Oh, okay. Well, you are a wonderful editor. If you need an editor, Jody Couture. I'm really hoping they don't serve salads. The restaurant itself is on the edge of South Shore in the Arts District, far enough from the bars of South Shore to escape the nightlife without losing too much visibility in the local offices. As I step in front of the street, in from the street, gentle jazz music tickles my ears and a small bell jingles above the door. Before I even the chance to take the place in, a waitress dressed in smart waistcoats greets me. Just as the waitress comes up, my dog farts. Good doggy. Good evening, good evening. Will you be alone tonight? Oh, hype train! Mr. Lebowski, thank you so much. Wow, very nice of you. Thank you. Uh, no, I'm meeting someone. Anders? The waitress's face lights up with recognition. Oh, everyone's dated him. It's your turn in the barrel. Oh, you heard Mr. Hamilton's guest. Please follow me. Your dog, too. Mr. Hamilton? Cheeseball and I follow the waitress toward the back of the restaurant. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't dig a hole in the restaurant. No. As we near the kitchen, I finally see Anders. He doesn't sit down. He sits at a large table with Hemingway, resting by the side of his chair and a glass of wine in his hand. The table itself is situated right by the kitchen. Its size, it's only set for two. Your guest has arrived, Mr. Hamilton. <laughs> Poopy, I'm so glad you hey could make it. Jump, jump, couture, Joey Couture. I'll just call you Joey now. Thank you so much for the subs and all that. Thank you very much. Oh my God. Poopy, I'm so glad you can make it. He takes, st he stands up and takes three. Oh, hey, hey! He smiles softly and places one hand on my upper arm. It's so warm. Do I feel the callus? This place is fancy. Damn, Anders, this place is fancy. Guys, get it together, Poopy. God damn it. Somehow act cool. Act cool, man, act cool. I told you I'd like it. I might, I feel like I might be a little underdressed. Joey and Corey's night, thank you so much. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for the support. Oh, really? I couldn't tell. <laughs> oh, really? Wait, right? You're wearing a fragrance at least, aren't you? I like it. Oh, it's just a cheap one, but thanks. G get some self, get your shit together, poopy. God, he doesn't know I needed to stop at the supermarket on the way here and rub three different magazine samples on my body. Man. I think I'm not classy enough for this guy, y'all. I'm not classy enough. Don't ruin this for me, Poopy. Oh, our seats face into the kitchen. Give me a clear view of the chef's heart at work. I see a wizened woman, woman carefully plating a dish. Do you know what you care to drink tonight? I recommend the wine pairing. Oh, he's a, he is a fancy boy. How am I gonna keep up with a fancy boy? I can't even, oh boy. Um, I'll just go with that then. Ugh, I'm totally dating above my weight class. If he knew what I really looked like, I don't think this would be happening. Like, I'm literally wearing an ex-boyfriend shirt. I can't even see the menu. The waitress nods and leaves Anders and me to ourselves, and that and the dog. This is the chef's table. So throughout the night, the chef will grace us with dishes, dishes of her choosing, and we may be so lucky to hear a bit about the food from the chef herself. Dude, I suggested getting burgers. Oh, Joey Couture, thank you so much. Joey! Joey, you are insane. You don't need to do that. I appreciate you. I appreciate you being part of the community. Congratulations on rebranding yourself. <laughs> Fancy boys. I wanted a burger, man. Ugh. Are there burgers? Do you think the chef has any good burger stories? Well, I mean, I think the stories tend to be a little more abstract than just being about burgers. Dude, I can't answer the right question here. He is everything. I can't. Guys, oh God, I, maybe she'll tell a good story in front of a burger. Guys, I can't do this. My character is not allowing me to role play so that Fancy Boy will like me. He's too much. I'm not sure I'd ever seen a burger leave that kitchen. Well, Anders, let, let me, I can't show you 
the text messages, but I can play them for you. And clearly I said something sexually suggestive in the form of getting a burger. Ugh. Well, there's a first time for everything. After a short moment, the waitress turns, returns with a near empty glass of almost clear liquid and a, two plates of... Well, to start tonight, we have a medley of herb gels with nasturtium leaf and a green tomato sorbet. Our wine pairing is a docal dry Riesling with a bright citrus bouquet and notes of mild spice. Aw, thank you, Joey. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your meal. Joey, my goodness. Thank you so much. You are wonderful and the community is amazing and I'm so grateful after a lull of a couple of years that we're able to kind of reform in a new direction. Smaller but more stronger. It's wonderful. Okay, guys. I can't get this guy in my pants. Like, I don't... I personally would tell him don't date me. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Shut up! How do I even start to eat this? Oh my god, you're so uncultured. You're already overthinking it. Eat it however you like. Everything on the plate is edible. Even the leaf? Of course, it's nasturtium. It should be crisp and slightly peppery, idiot. Oh boy. All right. Okay, it's pretty nice. Okay, now try the nasturtium with some sorbet and one of the herb gels. Okay. You need to let him pretty woman you. Exactly. I need to pretty. I need to be pretty womaned. Norden, wake up. This guy, make, this guy makes us feel bad about us. <laughs> it's true. It is a, is that a good sound? Oh, I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting a lot of, uh, texts, guys. Hmm. All right, whatever. Haha, <laughs> it's a good sound. It tastes like spring. I'll take that as a yes. It takes me only a few minutes to clear my plate of a few dollops of gel and sorbet. I finish it off with a swig of wine, enough to drain the most- Listen, you sip wine! My god, I hate myself right now. I'm a foodie, and I am angry at myself. To my side, Anders pokes up on the knife. He occasionally brings it to his mouth to taste each element. There's a tenderness to the way he moves, as if each microscopic movement is done with full consideration. Make love to me. Make love to me. Okay. Remove timed out. Louise, how did you get timed out? I thought you were a vo voice actor here. Oh my god, I catch myself staring at the little corners of this mouse curl around the tip of the knife. <sighs> I can feel you staring. I'm sorry, you seem like you're enjoying yourself. I just love watching you watch. Just watching you. Um, I always do. You should try your wine if you haven't already. Uh, sure, I did. I doubted in one gulp. Drink it all in one gulp, huh? I heard that. It went squish in your voice as you did it. Maybe. Next course, I'll show you how to taste wine, if you like. You mean besides drinking it? Precisely. I'm going to pretty woman the hell out of you. All right. Um, Anders finished his plate, and before long, the waitress returns with an assistant to clear out our dishes as he places more in front of us. And now for our second course, we have a scallop ceviche with pickled watermelon rinds, golden beetroot, and golden, golden garden sorrel. With this, we have a useful Sauvignon Blanc, sourced from the vineyard with 15 kilometers south of Rainbow Bay, exhibiting a natural flinty minerality and an aroma of fresh blossoms. I miss going to restaurants, you guys! I miss it so bad! Okay, you definitely made some of those words up. Stop being so uncultured, you dummy! <laughs> oh no, did, the, did I have a poop? I forgot, I forgot to pick up a poop. Shall I show you how to taste wine, then? You just put your lips around it and swallow. All right, I don't expect much. I'm sure you're capable of much more than you give yourself credit. Please, stop being so uncouth. Thank you guys for the amazing hype train. Could you invite Shannon Woodward to some of your guild D&D &D night? Um, Applejacks, I don't know what we're going to do at D&D &D again. I want to find a one-shot D&D person. I think rather than have guests, I think we'll try a bunch. You know, we, I'm going to try to do that D&D &D thing. Where I get a, um, I get a new uh, D DM in each morning. So, just getting white girl wasted on cheese balls is back in one out. It's true. <laughs> I should not be here. Now pick up the glass by the stem and swirl it gently. That swirling puts more wine on the wall of the glass and helps it evaporate. So you smell more of the finer notes. I just burped. Next, bring it to your nose and inhale gently. Your nose should be more or less inside the glass. All right, this feels. I know! He's out of my wee league! Don't worry, I'm not watching. Very funny. What do you smell? Well, there's sort of definitely sort of a grapey aroma. Well, yes. What else? Um. 
<laughs> no! I will not answer that some dead-ass wine. It's sort of like the ground after it rains. Oh, you're right, though. That's common for a Sauvignon Blanc. I'm getting notes of cut grass and lime as well. It's quite herbaceous. Okay, now take a si sizable sip and swirl the wi wine around your mouth. You might want to feel it in every crevice. Ah. Uh, <laughs> All my crevices. Swallow when you're ready. But I want to hear it. Do it right next to my ear. Think about what you taste. You might feel acidity along the size of your tongue. You'll probably notice some new aromas as well. What do you think? Um, it's a bit acidic, but not too much. Ding, ding, ding. And I think I taste green pepper and lemon. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Um, hmm. Um, I have blocked her to do so. Oh, and only Shans can raid. I tried to raid uh, Shannon, and she is only subscriber. I don't think you can raid her. I don't know. I don't think you can block. Uh, I'm not blocked for raids. I have a lot of them. Winemakers around these parts don't usually oak their Sauvignon Blanc, but I could teach you about oaking too when we get a red wine. I'm actually learning things about wine, you guys. Sure, why not? It's, I love the oaky taste that could maybe co cover up the poo that's on the floor next to our table. Throughout the seven-course digitization, Anders explains various wine notes and origins with the waitress and chef both chiming in. After an intricate dessert constructed of molded grapefruit mousse and ruby chocolate, Anders quietly pays the bill. Guys, I, I, I want him. I, Felicia Day, want Anders. Poopy is out of her league. Adam Akala, um, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the gift subs. Thank you. Before we say goodnight, would it be all right if I walked you home? Yes. I like that. I'm not really sure I'm ready for the night to be over just yet. Yes! I don't even need, I don't, I don't need anyone else but this. Because of the romantic, let's not dwell on it. We step toward the night, sticking to the main streets. You don't live around here, do you? No, I have an apartment by the beach. It's fine, I catch an, a, a Wilbur later. Thanks. Oh my God. Is John Cleese here? I love you, John Cleese. I took a, mo a photo with you at Detroit MotorCon and I cried afterwards. It's a little bit chilly. Would you like my scarf? I, before I can really respond, Anders has removed his scarf and offers it to me. Guys, guys, Adam Kala, thank you so much. Guys, GMT, bye Rona Nomi. Um, we're, we're done at 4 -thir. I mean, we're only streaming for 20 more minutes anyway. The storm had the power out. What did you name your dog? Um, cheese balls. Here, stand still. He places the scarf around my shoulders. I will always love you. Love is in the air. Love is, is in the air. Love is in the air. It suit you. Smart ass. Not falling for those anymore. I am so not classy for him. Jesus. I mean, my roots are crazy. It's happening, guys. There shouldn't be any blocks on raiding. Hope to see Shannon here. Yeah, there's no blocks on raiding. I tried to raid Shannon, but she has subscriber only chat and I guess I couldn't raid her but um death warmed over said I met Felicia at Motor City but she didn't cry no actually I wanted to ask how much can you see I could see enough that I know I'm very attracted to you oh my god uh so does that mean that I can do much the same things as anyone else certain things I can do better than most in fact I'm blushing you guys 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 hmm. i've or so i've been told what like what why don't i show you yes anders is immediately next to me now we stop below a street light and his calloused fingertips find the curve of my jaw why are they calloused what does he do with them is that how he opens bones he tilts my head toward him gently he takes one more step, closing the distance between us. His lips part just an inch from mine, and his breath is warm and heavy. He hesitates, as if asking permission. Wordlessly, I push forward, pressing my lips against his. He takes the hint pretty quickly, and before long, his fingers are curled in my hair on the back of my neck while mine sm fall the small of his back. My eyes are closed, but I can feel him smiling into the kiss. Yes! He's using you for your feet. <laughs> he can lick eyebrows? Is something funny? He chuckles softly. He buries his face against my cheek before twisting his voice to mimic my own. It's definitely sort of a grapey aroma. <laughs> you said no judging. 
I don't like him. We're not getting along. Braid that hair. No judging you taste like wine is all. I like wine. I sip it slowly and swirl it around the rim. Oh, right. We should probably get you home. No! No! As this is my apartment. Yes! You gotta join me. I'm a first date kind of girl. You're not inviting me a proper gentleman to spend the night on a first date, are you? Andert's words are pointed, but his lips curl upward in a slight musicality in his tone. Says this, he's far from offended. Pants off! Check and see if you have both your kidneys left afterwards. Yes, I will. Oh, shush. Come and show me how ju just and ungentlemanly you can be. Also, your dog can hump mine. Bow chicka wow wow. Bow chicka wow wow. Bow chicka bow wow. Bow wow 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 wow. Yeah, he's gonna dump us very quickly. What? We don't get a. Wow. Guys, we got this. This is perfect timing. Smoothie, this is the game you get. You get some. Okay? With dogs. All right. Well, I need some sociability. So I'm going to go. Could I do sociability and fitness? Yes, I can. Could I do mm, smarts? Let's do some smarts and trust. Smarts and sociability. And then it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's go. Hi, Smoody. Uh, okay, this has been the funnest stream in a long, long time. Very funny stream. Thanks, Shadrach. All right. All right, we do this. And then we need to... Oh, boy. We need some... Sweepy. Somebody's a sweepy. How do I... Okay, so we need to deal with the sleepiness right now. Um, I'm going to clean your ears. Clean your ears. I'm going to clean your ears. There you go, yo bub. And then I'm gonna feed you, feed, 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 with some wet food. We gotta get that hydration. Shake, 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 shake. And then we're gonna feed it to you. This has been a fantastic stream. I know, you guys, next stream will be Sunday night and we're definitely gonna raid somebody. Now, this is since I don't normally raid in the daytime, we I'm gonna check to see if any of my friends are online to raid. And if not, we'll pick somebody playing this game. Um, what else do we need here? Little, you know what? I'm gonna hose you off. I'm gonna hose you off. I'm gonna hose you off. You hose, hose, hose. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to. He probably has considered it dead free and three ex wives. He does. You got. He hundred percent has three ex wives. It's okay. Whoa! Look at this. Oh, <gasps> a big event. Ooh. Guys, this stream is perfect length for us to really experience what's going on. Five weeks already, did a big fart. I should probably get serious about unpacking, right? I mean, Anders made love in this rat hat, rat heap? Boy, I'm sorry, Anders can do better than me. He really can. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Um, I'm not sure how to interpret your fart there, buddy, but never mind. I met so many people lately. I'm gonna call them friends. Plus, there'll be a lot of little puppy pals for you too, right? Okay, let's get unpacked and they have everybody around. Like my first proper adult party dinner, except I can't cook. So if you do a date, I guess that ends your day. So I have to do the encounters before I do the bait. Westward Dreamer is um, watching with a dog on lap. Tonk Tonkers is here and love the stream. I'm so glad you're here. Please make sure to follow if you're not following you guys. Um, that way you'll know when I'm online. Well, by cheese balls, I unpacked while cheese balls got nervous. Yeah. I'm at me moving boxes around. And by most of the week, I mean, I would pack, unpack one box and then spend the rest day napping and watching Vine compilations. Vine? I am a mess. Oh, this looks pretty good though. Just in time for everyone to start showing up. I'm sorry Anders had to make love to me on a box. Speak of the devil. <laughs> My dogs are both here, but they aren't watching. Glypi, get your dogs in order. What did you call me, stupid? Oh, Fox, you're the first one here. Certainly looks like that. Is that a problem, stupid? No, of course not. Do you think the others are far off? <laughs> Scared of being alone with me, stupid? No? Maybe I am a little. <laughs> knock, knock. Quincy. Quincy, you just can't say knock. Quincy, you can't just say knock, knock and walk in. We're straight here from the vet. We smell like tapeworms. But the door was open. Besides, you followed me in here. I'm just a jovial guy with a beautiful Audrey Hepburn top knot. Well, the door was open. Hi, Quincy. I, I do that. I leave my door open. Hi, Dancy. Hi, Dr. Kim. Seriously, Jade is fine. Yes, yeah, she is. Quincy. Quincy. 
Just because we're not at work doesn't mean you need to not, you could be inappropriate with me. Haha, <laughs> calling you Jade just seems like calling my mother by her first name. <laughs> You're my age, aren't you? Oh no, I'm not your mother. If you, if I, if you, if I was your mother, you would have your shit together. Aw, Mummy Jade. No. I hope this doesn't come back to haunt me next time. Quincy and Jade move into the kitchen to continue chatting with while Fox retreats to the far side of the living room. Hey, you got everything unpacked. Nice digs. I was going to get you a gift, but certain somebody fell asleep under a pile of clothes and I lost most of the day looking for him because I am stupid. Arf. Aren't you just the best little marshmallow in You're a little spot, little guy. I mean, Sasha's adorable. He reminds me of Osric, and I think Osric is the cutest. Oh, you just let she... Oh, no. I just let my dog chew on Sasha. Um, <laughs> sorry. Oh, boy, boy. <sighs> beep, beep. Oh, boy. Another oh, wow, she is a problem today. Cheese balls oh. poop is no more. Hey, Sasha, this is really awkward because I don't really want you here. Got him. Will you ever not be jumpy, jumpy, Sasha? It's only when I'm not expecting it. I'm fine during movies, really. <laughs> but the whole point of jump scares is that you're not supposed to expect them. Boo! Oh. Uh, stop, I gotta drop Marshmallow. He's only here with one single strip of Velcro on my arm. Um. Thanks for inviting us over, Poopy. You haven't called me since that date. I smell sperm. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to check out your place. I'm still into you, Maribel. Thanks for the awakening. We were trying to decide what it would take to, uh, would look like on the way over. Maribel thought you'd have one of those 70s-style conversation pits. Yeah, that's me. Unemployed millennial with a conversation pit. I hoped, I hoped you'd have one. The place is so cute. I love what you've done with the fairy We've lights. Gotta stop mating like this. The coven is together at last. Oh, Fox, you're here. I suppose I should go in and join them. <laughs> Or you could stay here by the door like us cool kids. No, please, Astrid, move away. I need what we did to look together to be gone. <laughs> Seems like pretty good company if you ask me. <laughs> I, I always show my midriff. Oh, uh, hello? Oh, boy. Oh, Jake, stop it. All right, Sasha, let's drop a slot block in the door and let our house greet the guests. I'm pretty sure it's Laika who's doing all the blocking. <laughs> move it! Astrid hurries Sasha further into the room as Felix steps to the door. I uh, got you a... Housewarming gift. Felix pushes for a, 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 a plain brown box. You don't have to open it now. <laughs> but I'm gonna. I open the box and inside is a small building. It's a library. Wow, you shrunk the library. No, it's just a miniature. You know, I make miniatures. I, I paint miniatures. It's cool. We sell them at the library, but nobody ever buys them. I think it's meant to be a paperweight. It was free. I just took it on the way out. I didn't go out of my way at all. Thanks. I'll be sure to use it to weigh some paper down. Cool. I'm so cool, and my jeans are so tight. And you can see that I have no pectorals whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, bye. You have anything to drink? There's some fun juice in the kitchen. You can... Um, let's see. You know punch with the rum? Punch, punch? Oh, I don't really drink. Not good for the physique, you know? Fari Fariana, thank you so much for the sub. I'm sorry, I didn't know. What's your poison, then? Oh, uh, kombucha? God, I hate this guy. Kazoo night. Don't! Poopy, you're disappointing me! There's some diet soda in the fridge. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, it's five dogs and five, seven people and five dogs already here. The apartment's ceiling fail quite full. Mm. Oh no, wait, what are you doing here? <gasps> oh, fancy we would arrive at the same time. Oh no, I'm Robin Sloppy Seconds. Oh no. Oh no. Drama! Well, clearly it's fate. How amusing. Hilarious. I can hear the way you're looking at me. Oh, be quiet. Um, you two know each other? It's a long story. Robin is an old acquaintance. Hmm. Acquaintance? I'll just come inside and putting my foot any further down my throat. Anders slinks off to the kitchen without another word. <gasps> oh, no. Sorry about that. Uh, should I ask? Oh, it's definitely a good idea to read the label before you open a can of worms. Mm. Thanks for inviting Missile and I around. I think she's pretty excited to play. I'll try not to yell at any more people. God, Robin! I'm sure you have your reasons. Well, I was a trucker before. He, he Eliza doolittled me and then he dropped me as soon as I had any panache. That's what he does to all people. And by the way, you haven't changed your shirt in four weeks. Classic Anders. 
There's not a lot of room, but the dogs are making the most of the space. The dogs are all settled in, as are the guests. As I, I guess I should stop spending time with my guests. Start spending time. That would be polite, normal thing. Um, talk to Maribel, Jade, and Felix. Hmm. Astrid and Robin. When, oh, God. I'm going to try to get a little of the DL here. I could definitely do next weekends, but starting to get down to the wire. I really need to be training more. How's the training going anyway? Land that triple axle? <sighs> Not yet. My knee is still killing me. Well, maybe it needs another opinion. I think you should swing by and I could get you mates rate without our f mates rate with our physiotherapist. I guess. I don't Ooh. trust you. Oh, hey, Poopy. How are you both enjoying the party? Honestly, it's really nice to have an excuse to take the night off. Seriously, I never have time to socialize anymore. How does anyone have the time to maintain a career, exercise, healthy diet, sleep schedule, social life, family, and still have hobbies? I mean, no one? Well, Spite is a really pro powerful motivator. Or maybe we just need to scale back our expectations on ourselves. you know? Like, just be mediocre. I, that's my way. That's a lot easier said than done. Guys, we're going to end the stream after this, uh, this event. Thanks, capitalism. As I move around the room, flitting between groups, a thought warms its way into my brain. Where's Fox? I scan the room. She was not here long ago, but she, she wasn't engaging. Eventually, I land on her in the background. She's eye eyeing my collection of novelty mugs. I make my way over. You're quite well-traveled. Stupid. What? The mug, stupid? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been all over the place. Fox narrows her eyes. She turns on her heels and addresses the room. <laughs> Let's play truth or dare, stupids. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I think I'm too old for this. I'm 450. I'm a vampire. I will eat one of you by the end of the day. Not in a good way. <laughs> no way if I'm playing, then so are you, Casanova. Ooh, Game on! on. <laughs> oh, really, Astrid? Don't you dare. Fine, I'll turn my torment to Felix oh. instead. Wait, what? <laughs> this is going to be so good. Almost everyone got agrees to play. All... All eyes have fall upon Jade. Carefully. Absolutely not. I'll see you at Cheeseball's next checkup. She sees her health route out. She's a murderer. Challenges bounce across the room. She t uh oh, she stares me dead in the eyes. Oh no! <laughs> Truth or dare, Poopy? Oh no, she's gonna ask us. She's gonna ask us about traveling. <sighs> okay, dare. We're gonna do dare. Dare. I dare you to answer the, a question truthfully. Bitch. That's cheating. We never set any rules. <laughs> Bit. <laughs> Stupid. She's not wrong. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. I, I can't. I can't detect social current. I can't detect social current. All right, fine. Why did you move to Rainbow Bay? <laughs> what do you mean? I needed a fresh start. Is it more details? Uh, go on, Poopy. Nobody's going to judge. Well, I guess everything just fell into place. You know, all probably know that I worked in marketing at Obelisk in New York City. It was good at my job, but not necessarily a good thing. When you're good at your job, everyone lies on you. There are just more expectations. And at a place like Obelisk, that means way more work without support. So eventually I gave up and I quit my job and moved here. That's it. I'm totally fine with my personal life. Uh -huh. But why Rainbow Bay? Stupid. Fine, okay, there's more. My last partner I had been together since high school. They can remain nameless. <laughs> After I quit my job, the plan was live with them until I got my freelance photography set up, but then they got a job offer they couldn't turn down, I guess. We broke up. I saw them off at the airport, and then a summer rainstorm swept in. My bus back from the airport broke down and just found myself in a park in the middle of the hot storm crying on a bench. Also, my ex had brought me chocolates to carry up, but they were in my pocket. It was really hot that day, so I'm sitting in the park, tears down my face, melted chocolates, chocolates seeping through my pockets of the jeans, so clo clothes and hair soaked through, no way to get home, and that's when what? I saw him. Who? The dog wizard. What? Well, he was probably just a regular stray or something. He came and sat next to me until the rain stops. When I tried to take him home, he just started running. I tried to follow him, but he was too fast. When I gave up searching, I realized I was outside a travel agency, and they had a huge poster for Rainbow Bay. So they said it was the best town for dog lovers. So I decided then and there I would make a change and move to Rainbow Bay. And that's the premise of this pilot for the CW! Oh, oh I love dogs. I love dogs. What, did you think I was a convict or something? Uh -huh. No ex-cons are people, too. Stupid. I'm not going to ask what you were expecting. Probably for the best, stupid. Oh, That's quite a story, though. Sounds like you had a rough time. I'm glad you let it led you here, Ra says Robin. Robin, you don't like my lover, but I, I like you okay. Yeah, I hope you can make Rainbow Bay a better home than New York was. Here's something else free. Here's some, f here's some free ketchup packets I got at the restaurant the other day. Hmm. And I hope Cheese Balls is helping you settle in. <laughs> let me know if you need help finding photography gigs or touching a bicep. I'm still into you. 
I might be able to lend a hand too. You know where. I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at the chocolate. <laughs> it really did look like I pooped the front of my pants. I'm so sorry, that's horrible. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> well then, if it was possible to win truth or dare, I'd say you just won it, stupid. <laughs> but it's not possible, so moving on. The game continues with Anders and Robin consistently dodging questions about each other, while Sasha and Maribel and Quincy prove themselves to be truly fearless. Yay! Sasha pushes one final marshmallow into his mouth, his cheeks stretched impossibly wide. This is what millennials do for fun! Budgie, is it, what is it called? Budgie? Shrumpy Mumphy. What? Shrumpy Mumphy. Chubby Bunny. I don't think that's clear enough. What's a Shrumpy Mumphy? That's it. It's impressive. This is a night to remember. No drugs, no touching. Just mushroom stuff, mush, marshmallow stuffing, and lameness. Fox is the best. I know, I love it. Um, truth? All right, where's the weirdest place you've done it? Felix? No. Felix, we could see you. <gasps> Felix, I'm physically touching right now. Oh, wow, your hell. biceps are really hard. Arf! Felix, you can't just fade in the back room. You're over six feet tall and built like a firehouse. Oh, uh, hi, Maribel. How's it going? Get naked. Well, that's less impressive. Isn't Marshmallow one of the dogs? Oh, yeah, that's his dog. All right, I want to know why Robin broke up with you, Anders. Uh, I'm just probably a better question for Robin to answer. No way, it's your turn to explain what happened. Ooh, we dish! Is there a third option in this game? Can I drink for silence? Uh, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> Truth or dare, Astrid? Wait, what? He didn't... Uh, <laughs> dare, of course. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I have one. I'm going to start playing pony. I want you to take oh. off. No, Truth, I choose Truth. Spoil spurt. Oh my god, we laugh until the earth. We didn't, we didn't, he refused. Ugh, seems like we're gonna do fine here. Damn it. They gotta tell, I want that tea. Okay, how do I, should I, how do I? Okay, save, save and load. Save, oh my god, I haven't saved the whole time, you guys. <laughs> okay, oh my god, okay. Thank god I didn't just back out. That would have been horrible. Okay, I'm going to do another save just to be... Okay, and now exit to the main menu. Okay, great, you guys. Well, thank you. Thanks for being here. Let's find someone to raid. This has been a super fun afternoon. I like afternoon. Um, all right, let's see if I have any friends who are online. Um, no, nobody who needs... Um, let's see. I just want to do best friends. Let's, you know, this is the first time for this game, so let's find something. Um, oh, Defined by Kai looks good. Let's do Defined by Kai. Uh, is she still streaming, though? Strap in, folks. This game's for all the marbles. Okay, I don't want to hear your... Okay, let's do... Thank you, guys. So, uh, a Saturday night, uh, Sunday night, I'll be playing more of this. And uh, Fall Guys. I'll, I'll start with Fall Guys. Okay. Let's do... Um. Let's see if she's going to play. Hopefully, she's going to play. Is she going to play? I just wanted to but support um, black creators, too. Wait. Get something signed by her. It's one of the add -ons. I'm oh, this is it. Wait, she's not online. Let's do somebody else. Let's do somebody else. She is not. She is not live. Wait, it says she's live. This is weird. All like right. My, I look like I'm wearing blush. My goodness. Defined by Kai. She's yeah. Thank you, Pretty Kiwi. You guys have seen that in the last <laughs> oh my God! Okay, great. Uh, you guys, awesome. Thank you so much for supporting. I will see you Sunday night around 7.30. The next streams will be possibly Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So it'll be a very big thing. So here we go. See you later.